goodbye. It's gonna be a long, long awkward God, trip without the cart me. to speed things up. You're not gonna have a cart. We will have our awkward trip without the cart. To speed things up, back to <laughs> Tigamura. Hey, Come on, man. Get a hot drink for me, okay? Get nice and calm for you. Was it Layra or Fritz that was like heavily wounded? Me. Layra. Like, yeah, we were carrying you out of there. Yeah. yeah, I was down to like seven hit points or something. I don't remember exactly. Um, yeah, you're a bit. But so I can do polymorph get now. Do we want to yeah. get you healed up? Like, I can uh, do you know. polymorph. It's probably a good idea. If yeah. I'm a T-Rex, I'll feel better. <laughs> it's a little bit beyond us right now. One more level than the T-Rex. <laughs> yes. So you guys start to head to Tigamura. It, it takes about an hour's worth of a walk, and you do have downtime between here and there. Is there anything you wish to do in the meanwhile? Take in the scenery, check in on your pal who is dragging a very heavy stone woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining us, like, just hearing... <laughs> <laughs> the like scrape and she's like, come on, damn it! <laughs> like, like forty feet behind us. Like, should we help or are we still mad? Can we take time to like redress uh, Layla's wounds and stuff like that? I might actually conjure a little healing spirit, fella. Uh, mm. Which, well, it'll only last one minute, but uh, every round it can heal one d six to any time a creature just is around it, so we can all heal up. Um, oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, let me just pop that sucker out there. I'm I'm fine actually. I guess he just healed me. Yeah, <laughs> All right, We're well I guess unwounded. just a little just a little <laughs> incremental healing for me. Do you wanna do you wanna piggyback? We can do a piggyback. Okay. I could probably turn into a cat for more convenience. Uh, yes. It's also Ten. kind of. Oh no, I've used both my wild shapes for the day. Sorry. Oh yeah. I can, All right. I can just. What would I roll to carry them? <laughs> I would say athletics. It is not going to affect, uh, this is purely for flavor. Yeah, oh, you carry her, no problem. Yay. You Aww. you carry okay. her on your back, and it's you are so determined to make sure your friend is out of harm's way as much as possible. So She's been through so much. You want to give her a comfortable little walkie ride back home. Thanks. Lara's <laughs> yeah. fully out, full cat nap. Too comfortable. <laughs> like, no, we must be tactical. It's just, oh, it's so soft. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how buck how buck is carrying a petrified creature when she weighs 10 times what she's supposed to weigh <laughs> <laughs> uh buck you can give strong. me an athletics Go check gadget bugger arms yeah uh, be the 32 <laughs> <laughs> um uh, this is just for flavor i'm not gonna what am i doing athle yeah. athletics yeah athletics yeah Okay, yeah, you're, you're dragging her along. You're a little bit slower than everybody else, but you are not really having as much trouble as one would think dragging, like, a nearly one-ton person. Uh, uh, it's just, you know, it's noticeably difficult. Like, you get winded quite a bit, mm -hmm. and you have to take a little bit of breaks, but you can bring her back to town. All right, for an hour of that, I'll, I'll be kind, and I'll drop back to be 30 feet in front of him, and I will proc <laughs> two... Floating Aww. discs carrying one thousand of her. He loves one thousand five hundred pounds. <laughs> but does Aww. Buck know that's happening? Yeah, go. Yeah, I also it, like two I, little silver I, plates. Okay. I also get um because I'm a bugbear. I get um powerful build, which I oh. count as large when determining my carrying capacity weight. I can push drag or lift. Mm. So I, <laughs> I uh, that also helps. Okay, we yes. speed you up for an hour. I'm like a large boy. All right. Well, I would say that combined with the floating disc means that no further damage is brought to the petrified uh, oh, shit. orc woman. Because <laughs> <laughs> you are basically dragging her along on these floating discs and keeping her safe from harm on the ground. But I'm not going to be too mad if she gets a little messed up, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will. My plan is to bring her to um, Iker, so that's I'll I'll just kind of head straight there. Okay. Um, unless anyone in the group, I probably am not going to initiate any <laughs> conversation with anyone in the group. They already got their licks in. Before. <laughs> Does anyone want to yeah. wish to follow Buck to the healing hut? Uh, no, I'll break I... off and see that Lair is taken care of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anywhere but the healing hut, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And then we, regroup right there. Wouldn't we go to the healing hut to heal them? I can also uh, just heal myself. It's I've got like sleeping. spell. Yeah, I can also just sleep. I you know. Sleep. Do you want me to take you to the inn? 
probably just the N is fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Like I don't have any like weird poison conditions, so so just sleep should be fine. Okay. So is that Buck at the healing hut and everybody else at the inn then? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, since there's the three of you, let's go to the inn first. And you guys, when you walk in, and Lara, you are you look like disheveled. Yeah. Uh, Morrow kind of greets you in, and he goes, "Ah, oh, pilgrims, how are you? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Hello, Morrow. What happened? A lot. I can see that. <laughs> I think she probably just needs some rest, oh. even though you know there's a big gash wound here. Oh, I'll get a room ready right immediately. Uh, say." Thank you. Um, your friend Buck, he didn't, um... He's all right. He's at the healing hut. Okay. Whew. Well, phew. It's just when I saw you, I just, you know, anticipated the worst. But, oh, that's... Thank goodness. All right. I, I will get your room ready immediately. He just runs up the stairs. What a nice man. That man is rather fast. And you can see that a few of the patrons are actually admiring some of your, like, battle scars labor and just being like, oh, cool. <laughs> what happened? What'd you, what'd you do? Well, have you ever heard of a beholder? A few people gather around at, at the word beholder, and they're like, "Whoa, no way! This is that a city." Wasn't just any beholder; <laughs> it was God itself. <laughs> word, give me a persuasion. <laughs> word believes this, <laughs> so this That's is. That's why it's not. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! <laughs> like, oh no! An idiot, hmm. the cultist. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's intrigue immediately turns to, oh, it was probably illusions. Oh, no. You, sorry, Thank fellas, you, you probably got duped. And they all kind of go back to their drinks. Those sad fools keep on living their mortal lives. They don't know what we've seen. What we've beheld, perhaps? What we've beheld, indeed. We beheld God. Uh. I need whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Word's gonna get a drink. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Word's gonna get a drink. Fritz, are you doing anything? Uh, oh, that's right. I killed the angels, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna. I just. I am full protect Lyra mode right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, Morrow, after like a few minutes, like comes stomping back down. He is completely ignoring every other patron and just like kind of uh, gestures to you. Okay, your room is all well and done. I made sure to put some medicine on the on the shelf right next to it. Yeah, if you need anything, also some uh, some nice little le lemonade. You know, lemonade oh. often softens the heart sometimes. Uh, is there anything else uh, that you like, Lara? Uh, perhaps a home-cooked meal? Uh, your favorite dish from from Satya? I, I have a few recipes that I have <laughs> hung up in a storage room j just for this occasion. Anything at all. That's very Soon. kind, but this is already more than enough. Thank you. All right, very well. And here is a little bell. If, if, if I know that your body must hurt, so it's it, just a small little gesture and it'll ring and I'll be there at a moment's notice. Oh, uh, th thank you. I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna, <laughs> this is already making me uncomfortable just up the stairs. <laughs> Being doted on too much, too much. <laughs> His eyes are fixated on you as you walk up. He's so nice. This is a town of adventurers, right? How is this? How is he so shocked? All right. Who's to know? Up to nap time. <laughs> Up to nap time. And in the meantime, uh, during nap, uh, while that's going on, Buck, you head into the healing hut to see mm -hmm. Iker. Uh, just working, he seems to be doing some typical paperwork and he doesn't look up from his uh, papers and just uh, kind of greets you. Uh, uh, hello, uh, Buck, was it? Correct. So, what can um, I do for you today? Uh, I've got a friend here who... Well, we went out on an adventure and... And I'll just, like, knock on her a couple... Of, couple <laughs> yes, like, well, that tends to happen in the... Good gods! <laughs> well... Um... um all right then, uh, lay her on the bed. Is this something that it's going to be costly to fix? Quite a bit, unfortunately. Um, I can cast a uh, greater restoration to get rid of the petrification, but um, 
I've no diamonds on me at the moment, but uh, I do have a few gems laying around. You wouldn't happen to have any precious gemstones on you, would you? Uh, I don't think I do, no. <laughs> it's, I don't. Uh, it's no, no cheap spell to cast. Uh, a substitute of gold pieces would do as well, if you don't have any stones. Uh, a whole hundred pieces worth. Uh, I think I can throw together at least 20 from the gemstones I have sitting around. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. All right. You it's may like subtract gold. 80 gold pieces. You had to. Oh. I, it says that I have 135 gold in my... Dang. Yeah, we made a lot recently. Yeah, you made some oh, recently. Yeah. You may subtract yeah. 80 since he will be providing the other 20. Sure. Got it. Uh, I apologize for such a gouging, but uh, that's what's needed for the spell, unfortunately. I literally cannot cast without it. Uh, just be lucky I'm not charging for a labor cost. I appreciate the help. All right, then. Let's get her on the bed. And he kind of helps you put her uh, sort of on a medical bed, kind of on the far side of the hut. Uh, he inspects the body over. He notices something's missing. This woman... <laughs> She's she's missing a hand. Um, Correct. It, it doesn't appear to be a, a petrified wound or, or stump. I assume it fell off after the petrification. There was some uh, difficulties getting her back here. Oh, well, how unfortunate. I, I can't really do anything about that unless you've some spare hands lying about. Um, though my uh, flesh grafting is a bit rusty, I admit. That's all right. Just the unpetrification, and I should be able to handle it from there. Uh, very well, then. He reaches into his pocket and pulls out what looks to be some uh, bandages. Uh, could you hold this uh, on the wound? Uh, once she uh, gets unstonified, it's going to be very, very messy. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll go ahead and help with that. Well, then. I'll have to put... Uh, uh, all right, here, here. Hmm. He holds the gold pieces uh, to his hands, kind of rubs them together, and they start to glow a very bright gold kind of through his fingers. And then he just kind of puts his hand... All right, Iker takes the gold, and uh, he kind of starts to form them into a little light, and he puts his hands inches away from the Weather Witch's stone body, starting at kind of the tips of her shoes. And the gold kind of turns into almost like a clay mold that kind of forms around her. And as it passes over each part that he is pushing it over her body, the stone starts to disappear. He moves slowly up her legs, her torso, kind of down her arms. As he passes over the wound, you can see blood immediately starts gushing out. And I'm going to need a medicine check from you. Sure, sure, sure. All right, well, <laughs> it's quite the struggle. And uh, Iker actually has to go and help you make sure the blood doesn't seep too much. And she loses quite a bit as a result. No worries, no worries. I can't expect you to be of the medical field. You're an adventurer, after all. Your job is to throw yourself into danger, not uh, really protection. It's your lot. Oh. I say nothing. Devastating. But then, after a while, the Weather Witch in her entirety becomes unpetrified and gently slumps into the bed, no longer stiff uh, of a stiff, stony statue. Her severed hand kind of starts to stop bleeding after a while to where uh, Iker then starts to cast a little bit of a mending to close the wound. <sighs> well, at the very least, uh, she's not going to be a vampire's drinking fountain for the time being. <laughs> is she, um... Is she unconscious? Yes, she is unconscious. She is, like, completely out of it, but she is breathing, you notice. I'd like to be here when she um, wakes. I don't know if it's alright for me to watch over her for when that happens or if if you need to. No, oh, of course, of course. Uh, her body's still in shock, so given a few dozen minutes or so she'll eventually come to. It's, uh, is this a close friend of yours? Uh, just, I mean, no, not, not a close friend, but um, obviously important enough for me to bring her back, I would say. 
Mm. Um, I, I believe y- you and your husband had some sort of a affair tonight. I mean, I can. I'm happy to lock up for you and take her away for once you're once you're done here. I appreciate it. It, it shouldn't take that long, though. But um, if you your business is your own, uh, if you do like pri- uh, privacy, um, uh, he reaches over to the side, and you can see that uh, there is a rail on the ceiling, and he pulls uh, these curtains. They're magically imbued. They can provide you with some privacy if you'd like. Sure. Um, They've got a silent spell woven into their uh, cloth. That'll be fine. I just, um, you know, it's... I, I would just not rather... Y- you seem tired, just the whole vibe of you. I wouldn't <laughs> want to further... <laughs> he narrows his eyebrows a little bit. I can take a hint. Very well. <laughs> Thank you. You may have the hut to yourself. I'll just be a moment before I gather some materials for... On the move work, it seems. He gives you a little bow, gathers some things, and then leaves. Can I... Can I tie her, like, <laughs> down to the bed? I don't want her to leave. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When she uh, wakes up. Yeah. Give me a survival check. Survival, survival. See how your nodding is. Okay, that's what we're I'm a naughty little boy. Okay. (laughs) Okay, sorry. (laughs) I realize in context. Okay. (laughs) All right. (laughs) After you tie her down, making sure as best you can to that she's not going to escape. Just just her one just her one good hand. Oh, just her one hand. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just her. Like like elegantly like handcuffed to the bed frame, not like any you know what? I just don't want her to like get up and immediately run run out. Like I'm not trying to like yeah. Okay. Um, if she, if I wanted her dead, she'd be dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You I could, ask, you could execute her. So yeah. yes. Uh, about half an hour passes, and eventually, the weather witch does start to make groggy noises and wakes up, coughing and sputtering, and slowly opening her eyes, and she slowly moves her head down, and notices her new nub at the end of her own arm. <laughs> Well, that's a bit macabre. Can't say I wouldn't do the same in your position, though. She looks over at you, Buck. <laughs> that's that. Like she's is she like fully lucid and like just acting quasi normal? Like she's not at, like. You can give me an insight. Okay. <laughs> Dang, I'm a good. Oh, actually, I have a pretty good insight. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> uh, what you can tell is basically what uh, what fell the lead. The player can tell. Fair oh, enough. God. That's that your passive was... insight, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> My passive insight. Um, I warned you about betraying us. Mm-hmm. I could have let you die back there. Oh, and I'm very grateful that you were able to bring me back. Now, if you could be so kind so that I could get back to what I was doing. No hard feelings, of course. What's done is done. I hit, I hit her. Oh. oh, like punch her? Yeah, can I do that? Uh, yes. Uh, you don't <laughs> need to roll an... Actually, roll an attack with advantage. Buck, lover of women. <laughs> Sorry, that's actually inappropriate. <laughs> that's okay. We're co-ed here in the lustrous Nothing expanse. Nothing about this situation <laughs> All right. is appropriate. You punch her. How do you punch her? <clears throat> uh, rated e. Like in the... Just in the, in the, in the mouth, I guess. Okay, I mean, yeah. I, you punch her, and uh, she just... <laughs> Oh, that feels familiar. (laughs) Before, I was an adventurer. And I don't really like to talk about this a lot. I did a lot of jobs I wasn't too proud of. And most of them involved people in worse situations than the one you're in right now. I'm really trying to step away from that life. And you're making it very difficult. The only reason that I brought you back, went through a great deal of trouble, both financially and interpersonally with my companions, is because I know that you know something about getting in touch with the gods. You don't seem like the kind of person who just make the kind of mistake without at least thinking that you'd have some way of contacting them. Am I correct? She takes in what you're saying. She kind of leans back in the bed and just sighs. 
Oh, poor, poor duck. You poor sap. It's like looking in a mirror. I'm not, I'm not going to respond. I'm going to wait for her to talk more. You should know better than anyone that sometimes we get things wrong. It seems I did, and my work is yet to be finished. And so I should get back to it, so that I won't be wrong again. But we are mortal. Uh, I'm trying to think of what to say. Um, why... Why try to get in contact with the gods? Hmm. We are mere mortals, bound by our world. Hunger, exhaustion, disease, society. The gods <gasps> suffer no such limitations. Knowing this, I can't help but get a bit, um, ambitious. I guess I can understand that somewhat. How did you know that... I wanted to get in contact with the gods. Hmm. That little hex I gave you back in Satya. Uh, perhaps I was leaving out a few details about how it worked, but, well, it gives me a bit, let's say, information about you. You know, in case I need to appeal to your preferences. Oh. Is that true of my companions as well? Perhaps. All the more frustrating that the little kobold is the enigmatic one. It might have given me a better chance with his little creatures back in Satya. And yes, I had a glimpse into your past, Buck, and trust me, we are birds of a feather. Misplaced trust, poor judgment, pushing aside those who would not aid our cause, accusing a loved one of betraying you out of misplaced suspicion. Oh, I did break some hearts. Why do you think my fellow pilgrims never talk about me? Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't think that I follow. You were a pilgrim? Indeed. I assume Jade never talks about me. Ha! Oh! That can't be right. You're... You, that can't be right. You're... You were on a pilgrimage with Jade. When when was that? Oh, what year is it now? Um, two pilgrims ago, so twenty years. Yes. Look, do you think if you had more time, you could be successful? Oh, well, depends on your definition of success. I'm talking about contact with the gods. Hmm. Ever since I became pilgrim, I've been on this path twenty years now. Do you know what it takes to become a weather witch? I shake my head. In a manner of speaking, you sever all connections to worldly possessions. The task is grueling and cannot suffer distraction. You must truly be one with the chaos of nature. And I, I had to make sacrifices so much. And when I look at you, I can see your sacrifices. I don't need a hex to tell me that. It's in your eyes, always distracted, always looking for that window of opportunity, for that thing you truly want. Because all of this, she gestures to the room with her nub. All of those, she points as if outside, they get in the way. And eventually, you figure that you can't let them get in your way. And then, once everything is out of their, your way, there is nothing left. Nothing left. And she looks down. But you. She looks back up at you, Buck. You would make a very good weather witch. I, uh, reach down to the rope that's around her good arm and I undo it. I want you to stay away from us for the rest of this pilgrimage. Hmm. You and I are nothing alike. And she gets up. Give me a persuasion check real quick. Ooh, she's going to come back. Uh, <laughs> persuasion. <laughs> she just gives a little scoff. Whatever helps you sleep at night. She walks out of the room. And unless you go and check where she's going... Her location is likely to be a mystery to you. 
I will not check on where she's going. Hmm. Whether or not her words are true, your dismissal of your likeness to her, I would say, Buck, you gain an inspiration for that. Yay! To the roundabout. <laughs> and then I go, and then I'll go to the inn to, I'll go to the inn. All right, you go to the inn, and uh, is there anybody just like hanging out at the at the food court area downstairs? Uh, I'm pretty sure Lara is laying, sleeping right now. Yeah, we're, in we're, the we're pillow leading. pile. Okay. Pillow pile. In the pillow pile that uh, Maro has lovingly prepared for you. <laughs> so sweet. He's I feel nice like Maro like was gonna make the bed and noticed like the extremely like organized pile of pillows and was like, oh okay, and just like made that instead. <laughs> All right, so Maro uh, notices after attending to a few of the patrons and uh, hearing the rundown. Fritz and Word, how much do you tell Maro about what happened? Um, I'll just tell a very aggrandized version <laughs> where we went in there to meet God and he came out and attacked the person that summoned him and then we wiped him out and his angels spilled out of the gates of heaven and we killed them too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all the while, uh, nonstop begonias is whispering in your ear to kind of spice it up with a few more things. I'll, I'll take his word. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. He seems sated for now. <laughs> Tell lies. <laughs> <laughs> and Maro notices you coming in, Buck, and uh, kind of throws his arms wide open. Oh, Buck! Oh, thank goodness! Oh, you're you're fine as well. Well, they, they, my your companions told me you were fine, but still, it's good to see you. How things get uh, been? How how was the foray into into the dungeon? Uh, eventful, but ultimately, as you can see, uh, we didn't fare quite as well as I th had hoped to do. Um, so I, I'm really sorry. My head's a little shaken up, and so I I think I just want to try and get some rest. Oh, oh, of course, of course, I'll get, oh, I've made sure, just in case, I prepared ahead of time, you see. As soon as Lero went to bed, I prepared another room. Oh, great, um, <laughs> uh, I'll go, I'll go to bed, and, uh, and also, and I'll lean in, because I told Maro about my, I don't know if I, have I seen Maro in between me, I can't remember, between when <laughs> I went the to see the ex-wife. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I trauma dumped and then I saw my ex-wife. I don't know if I. I went don't back think you have. Him. No, after your encounter with your ex-wife again and going out on the hunt, I don't think you've with spoken Pam. with him. Yeah, I'll, I'll like, I'll like lean in like the, um, the thing with Pam didn't go great. So, um, <laughs> oh, we kind of expected that though. So, I can uh, provide some uh, comedic novels or uh, romantic novels or. Uh, action novels, you know, anything to put your mind at ease? Believe me, I don't think there's a novel that's been written that's gonna put my mind at ease tonight, but I I have a book that I've um, purchased a couple towns back I still haven't finished. So. Oh, very well, very well. I'll leave you to your reading then. I, I'll, I'll be alright. Oh, uh, thank, thanks, Mara. I appreciate Hold it. Hold on, I'll, Buck. I stopped dead in my tracks. Where's that dirty boulder you've been lugging around. Dirty boulder? What is he talking about? Kind of swaying a little bit. Oh, boy. Where's the rock? It's gone. Good riddance to it. And he holds up a drink. I don't elaborate, and I go to bed. <laughs> okay. All right. You head to bed. Fritz and Word, you are the only ones left as the night comes. Uh, is there anything you wish to do? before you go to bed. Uh, I got nothing off the top of my head. I'm gonna take dinner up to Lyra. Okay, you, uh, you go up and uh, I assume you knock on her door? Yes. I like, can I come in? Of course. Mm, and I come in and I have a tray with probably like two just stews on or whatever and I sit yeah. down and I'm like, ready to feed you. I'm like, no, not feeding yourself, no. Oh, oh, okay. This is happening now. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fritz is in full, like, I just almost watched my friend die. You are fragile. <laughs> this is, this is, uh, this is interesting. <laughs> I think Lara is not quite accustomed to being, uh, sort of 
uh, doted on to this degree? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like Shemaya is more like, oh, well, don't die. All right, have fun. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just kind of going to sit there slightly yeah. stiffly and allow myself to be like, I don't know, tended. Uh. But yeah, I'm just going to, oh. I'm just going to, I'm very like quietly and gently, I'm going to feed you and whilst you're swallowing, I'm going to eat mine. And then I'm gonna head to bed. Yay. Right. And word, anything you do before bed. Nah, he'll probably just finish his drink and kinda stumble upstairs and, and crash. It's it's been a very long day. Okay. Well when you do <laughs> oh crash, uh <laughs> you hear a voice in your head. <laughs> oh, Is this a bad time? I remember you talking about wanting to have a talk. It's not uh, stop begonias. It's not Buck. <laughs> it's, it's me. Uh, yeah. Uh, give me a second. I <laughs> like kind of sits up, crawls out from under the bed, goes over to a window, maybe. Um, I, I really need to know exactly what you're after. Ah, an explanation. Oh, I love stories. Mm. Very well then. I am not of your world. A surprise, I know. I get that. Yeah. I am of the land beneath the netherworld, where the things you etherlings call feelings and emotions are a bit more tangible. And life and death hold a little less sway on us. I exist, but do not live. I starve, but I do not die. I die, yet I am reborn. But my time is never convenient. It's just sort of the deal down there. It kind of seems like you've got all the time in the world, but you keep coming at the worst ones. Oh, that hurts. Ah, I didn't mean it that way. So, you come from some place where everything's different and topsy-turvy, and you come into this place that must be topsy-turvy to you. What are you getting out of it, other than just hanging out with me? Oh, yes. You, you aetherlings, your emotions, your spirit, they sometimes find themselves drizzling into the netherworld, and they are like mm, a delicious meal to us. They sate us, but they are mere crumbs to a first-hand experience. So some of us... You calling me a crumb? <laughs> ...make bargains with those who are much bigger, much more experienced, ones that have had their fill. Maybe they're bored... I don't know, but after a lot of hard work, they lend us their power to come here, have a little treat for ourselves and your desires. You saying I brought you here? Yes, your desires specifically have been quite the aroma. I smell your ambition, your pursuit for power, your dreams of conquer. I've only tasted it once before and it was delectable. So you're like a voyeur. You're just what? here to watch. Once before, what was that? Yes. Uh, others, they go for simpler concepts. Anger, fear, lust. I, I chose something a bit more spicy. Authority. And you have been starving me. I think you just might start tasting that flavor again. Good. Because back at the well, I see that you take what is yours without a second thought. I saw signs of one with conviction. But recently... Uh, I lost my way there for a minute. I wasn't thinking about what I wanted and what I knew I wanted. But now, I know what a mistake that is. Oh, that's and I've got people behind me. And I think we can do anything. Oh, that's good. That's good. Well, if that's all you're here for, I hate to admit that I'm kind of happy you're around. Hmm. I would like to provide a little bit of constructive feedback, if that is all right. Shoot, we're at the whiteboard here. Blackmail, subjugation, threats, fear is tasty, but it's also a quick way to authority. I've seen the conquerors of this world and realize people will submit when you have something of theirs they wish not to lose. I've seen it many times before, and the fearful adoration coming from it is quite 
flavorful, but most importantly, achieving great power by any means necessary is very good. Slow-cooked meals are so annoying. If there is a way to achieve greatness quicker, that would be preferable. I think you're impatient, and you like junk food nonstop, Begonias. Mm, that... But I think I can provide you something that's well seasoned. Very well. You'll be surprised by my methods. We shall see. But I'm keeping an eye on you. All three of them. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll uh, see you when I see you. You're pretty good at hiding. Yes. Good night, boss. It's nice to know what you're about. Oh, and if you... If you need any more strings pulled, the netherworld is a tapestry. Threads of reality. You'll have to teach me more about that as we go. I look forward to it. And he'll pick up, like, the tipped-over bottle of whiskey next to, like, that's rolled out from under the bed, and he'll just slink back under. All right. And that is going to be the night... The morning comes, and the pilgrims of Satya awaken, rested, uh, maybe with a little bit of closure from the previous day. Uh, mm -hmm. How does everyone wake up, and who wakes up first in all that morning routine goodness? I'm, I'm probably, probably up not, nearly yeah. first. Mm -hmm. uh, no matter how good I'm feeling, I'm not up first. <laughs> okay, Lyra, you're up first? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you do? <sighs> it's a good question. What do I do? Um, I feel like... I don't know much of what happened last night, but if I heard any of the where's the rock, it, it's gone thing, and I think that the Weather Witch is unpetrified and on the loose, I might want to just do a little bit of like casual investigating around. Just to, it, this is so not my area, but like turn into something with a good sense of smell and just see if I can figure out which direction she went. Ooh, all right. Uh, your choice of investigation or perception with the stat of the creature you wish to turn into. Yeah. Which gives you advantage. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, all right. Let's see. Uh, what's got a good sense of smell? Where's the wolf stats? <laughs> uh, hawk or eagle, I think, are good. Wolf I would still, be good. I, I think flight yeah, speed is still technically Mastiff. a little bit. Uh, ah. Yeah. Maybe not Mastiff technically. Or wolf. Eh. Probably one of the other. Turning into a dog feels weird. Wolf is <laughs> on thin ice. Um, Fox. Ah, yeah. If I if I turn into a wolf, I have advantage on perception checks that rely on hearing or smell. So I'll I'll do that one. Uh, which is a plus, uh, plus three. Use my stone hand as a scent reference. Uh, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let me just, uh, actually my perception is the same as the wolf's. It's plus three, so I'll just roll that with advantage. Okay. Hmm. All right, with a 10. Pretty bad. <laughs> so mm -hmm. you sniff and sniff and sniff, and you do mm -hmm. are able to catch her trail, um, mm -hmm. And you notice that she did walk out of the healer's hut and started to head southwest. That's oh, back boy. towards the ruins, right? That is back towards the ruins, or perhaps something else. You can't quite tell. Um, but mm. you do know general direction, southwest. Mm. That's where the mm. city mm. would be. Well, we're going northwest, so hopefully that won't be our... Next now, aren't we going southwest? Because that's where the next settlement is. I thought Tigamira was northwest. We were sort of making a big loop. Uh, uh, I can show you guys the map real quick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah, it's a little I, bit I think south there, of this settlement. Is Tigamira or there south? is a settlement somewhere in between, but I didn't think I didn't know if we were planning on stopping. Show you the map. We're going to the oh. shitty evil one, and <laughs> it is slightly. Wait. So you you guys are here in Tigamira. I, I put the cart there because you we were coming back from the ruins. But yeah, Travis oh, said is, is north. Northwest, okay. yeah, 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 I thought yeah. so. Wow, yeah. okay. Yeah, she's going to Old Dios, yeah. That is kind of one of the only things in that direction. One of the things she's probably doing. The uh. big one, and she has big aspirations, so that's my guess. Uh. But yes, you can't quite glean any further details aside from that. Southwest is where she's going. Well, hopefully that's not going to be a problem for the immediate future. Um... Let me mark off my wild shape and uh, probably go have some breakfast in the inn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you uh, head back into the inn and uh, you do see that um, kind of behind the desk, Maro is actually still asleep, just snoring there. And on one of the tables, there are four meals prepped 
and with a little kind of name tag on each one, representing each of the pilgrims. That is so nice. <laughs> what is with this man? Oh, what what nice thing can I do for this guy? Hold on, <laughs> let's check my inventory real quick. Leave um, him alive. <laughs> well, yeah, obvi- that's bare minimum <laughs> politeness. I don't think he needs any of the potions I could theoretically make with this alchemy kit. Maybe I'll just like leave like five gold on the desk and call it a day. So, you know, when you, when you don't know what to gift somebody. <laughs> Yeah, you leave. All right. all right, you leave five gold on the desk. It makes a little bit of a, a, a ka-ching, very, very and uh, you, you hear him mumble under his breath. His breath. Oh no, late ladies, please. Aww. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna have my reactions. breakfast hmm? very quietly. <laughs> <laughs> as quietly as possible. Yeah, maybe then just like go out and I don't know, appreciate some fresh air. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yes, you walk outside. It's a, a typical nice sunny Tigamuran day. People are going about their business. Um, anybody else in the inn who wishes to wake up and have their morning routine? Uh, or to wake up and <laughs> just like put on his clothes. He'll actually use the uh, whatever bath amenities they have mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and like rub some lavender on himself or something. Just <laughs> get nice and clean. And, all right. Awesome. And when you go down, you also see the same uh, thing is Lyra, you know, four dishes laid out, one of them with your name on it. Uh, I'll take my meal, and whoever's not down yet, I'll take a small portion of their meal. <laughs> <laughs> Just like like a sausage or like an egg. Yeah. Egg. Or egg. More, egg, 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 <laughs> egg, 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 and me. <laughs> All right. Uh, Fritz Buck? Yeah, I'll wake up. Um... And just, I guess, just go downstairs to see what's going on. Oh, there's a portion of my, small portion of my meal is missing. <laughs> he just didn't finish the plates. I mean, look at him, he's asleep. I, I don't really know what to say, so I'll just kind of quietly eat my breakfast. <laughs> yeah, Fritz? Yeah, I calmed down last. I am tired because I, I spent a lot of my time worrying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very ready for breakfast. I come downstairs. I'm like at the top of the stairs. I see the plates. I am zooming. <laughs> <laughs> yes, wonderful. And eventually Lyra does rejoin you. I would say by the time that you all come here, Lyra has done her rounds searching for clues about the Weather Witch. And mm-hmm. you have a little bit of time to yourself in the tavern. Most, uh, it doesn't seem like any other patron has come in this early in the morning yet. Everyone's a busy bee outside going about their work day. Yeah, right. Are we hitting the road, or are we doing something else here? Hmm. Well, I don't think we have any unfinished business in this town, right? Uh, not really. Oh, actually, I did have something I wanted to grab from a blacksmith. Well, yes, if we're going to be Just on the road supplies. again, we should resupply. We're good to get food, yeah. Yes, some form of <clears throat> transportation. I don't know. Did we work that out? Did we, I thought, uh, did, did we figure out a way? I think you did, yes. The old lady. I think we talked about getting just I've a regular cart. Two yeah. horses. The, um, I think the, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure the old lady Warforged. Prickly uh, Pear, what was her name? Prickly, Prickly Pear. Prickly Pear, yes. Oh, yeah. I think she the lady that runs this. mentioned <laughs> that uh, she would try and get something together for Procure you. Or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I th- Let's just say that that happened and that it worked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think we figured that we could get, like, a proper cart, but we probably couldn't get, like, a little house cart like we had last time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no lantern of true crystals. sight. No. Yeah. <laughs> no lantern of true sight, just laying around. Nothing worth 150 gold. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I would say, um, uh, word, you wish to visit the blacksmith for something? Yeah. What was it? Oh, I forgot about this character. <laughs> Hello, fellow small person. <laughs> I have something I want to do. Uh, I have a little maneuver, you see, where my, my dagger it does magic fire, and I have oil that I coat it in sometimes, and when I stab somebody, you know, it's bing, bang, boom, like fireworks. So I was wondering if you had, like, a sheath where I could just put some oil in there to start so I don't have to coat it before a fight. Ooh, I could probably get something like that done. Sounds like a custom order. Could be fun. All right. Shouldn't uh, take too long. Let's do, since this is not something that's on her usual list of things that she does, 
Uh, how about a little bit of haggling with a straight charisma check? Oh, well, this will determine the price of this uh, yeah. this service. Oh my god. We haven't rolled above an 11 this whole session. Okay. Except for that one time that Buck punched a restrained woman in the face. <laughs> then Look, uh, that is going to... She had it coming. I mean, yes. Yeah, but... being enamored by a working woman. I would say... Like, oh, it looks like you're down a hand. Let me give you one. <laughs> God. For that specific design, I would say it will uh, require 70 gold and she'll be able to get it done by the hour. Oh, that's cutting deep. Actually, I'd also like to uh, I'd like to go to her and get that armor skill because I have armor. Ah, the armor skill, the light armor skill. Yeah, then? I have light leather armor. I want to I want to get that bonus action dodge because playing a caster is so stressful in combat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Yeah, fifty gold pieces removed from your inventory, mm -hmm. and she kind of takes a hammer, bangs up your armor, adds a few little notches and pieces and imbuing it with a teeny bit of magic of crystals, you can now use the dodge action as a bonus Yay. action. Whoa. All right, let me just huh, back down to being flat broke, as I should be. <laughs> Where do you agree to the 70 gold? That's really high, but yeah, I can't, I can't work my way around that. I failed this, <laughs> the throw. <laughs> yeah, so how it worked basically was what I did was I rolled a d20, and multiplied it by 10, and then whatever you rolled, multiply by 10 and subtract the difference. Oh, I rolled a 15. Oh. 15 minus 8 would be 7, so 70 gold. All right. But that means every combat, I start out being able to use a Dragon's Bargain, which uh -huh. is an additional D4, or uh, additional 5 flat damage if I hit. Yes, very nice. Uh, anybody else doing any last-minute shopping before you hit the road? Mm -mm. Nope. 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 All right. I think we're good. Then. We might want to get, like, provisions and stuff, but... <laughs> I would say uh, I'm going to railroad just a little bit and say you guys start to head out together before being stopped yeah. by oh. the good man himself, Eduardo. Wait, which one is... Oh, that guy! The leader of the... <laughs> Adventurer's Guild and founder of the town. And uh, he noticing you kind of uh, getting ready, kind of seeing your body language, getting packed and getting ready to head to the stables to get your horses. Hey, you pilgrims, you heading out, huh? Yeah, yes, we are, my plan. friend. Well, as, 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 uh, thanks for uh, humoring me with my uh, silly little uh, anniversary gift, uh, bringing a bit of business and uh, tourism to the town, uh, uh, thanks to your presence and uh, supporting local business. I want you to have this. Uh, uh, something that will help you out with, uh, with the Trevisetta. Uh, they like to make a coin, but uh, they, they save you a bit of coin, huh? uh, at least for a little bit. And he hands you each one token uh, that uh, kind of looks like a very thick coin carved with what looks like a chameleon looking lizard folk man with a large pack and many jewels uh pieces of jewelry all across his fingers you may add Aww. each of you one chameleon air token to your inventory chameleon <laughs> <laughs> chameleon air all right that's Perfect. gotta be a custom item right <laughs> That uh, that place, uh, that man, uh, that uh, lizard folk uh, merchant, he, he sells uh, some not always useful, but uh, very, very fun and uh, sometimes useful stuff. Eh? <laughs> uh, but he likes to charge a bit much for my taste. Uh, uh, got connections around the city, uh, uh, make favors, give away tokens for them to be used at a shop. I do a few favors for him uh, a while back, but uh, not interested in his wares, so I savor the tokens. Uh, I give them to you, eh? Uh, sadly, cannot be used like coin, but uh, trust me, very worth it when you meet the guy that uh, they can be used for, huh? Well, thank you very much. All right. That's strange, but I'm excited. <laughs> oh, yeah, Trevor set a very, very strange place. Oh, oh, and uh, this thing. He whistles, whoop, uh, which I can't do, uh, you know, with the two fingers thing. Mm -hmm. This thing uh, to make uh, the journey easier for you, huh? Just, uh, the, uh, a prickly pear. <laughs> and Prickly Pear from the stables, uh, just kind of pulling your new little cart. Here she is, in case you wanted to see her again. Aww. Yay! Just like there. pulling the reins of uh, efficiency and butterscotch. Oh, here you are, dearies. It's, it's the best I could do. But, but hopefully it will get you up to that place a little bit easier. And you guys gain cart 
dot JPEG because I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love JPEG. I didn't have time <laughs> to make a uh, make a custom <laughs> cart art for you, but I mean it's a generic cart, so might as well use generic cart art, right? Heck yeah, Buckaroo's <laughs> eating good today for the cart. JPEG. We're crossing that Oregon Trail tonight, baby girl. <laughs> Ford the river, Ford the river. <laughs> And uh, Eduardo just kind of speaks up. You uh, lost your last <laughs> carta. I wanted to help you along with the pilgrimage with a fresh new one, eh? <laughs> is it is it indeed fresh and new? <laughs> um. Uh, let's. You can give me a. I don't know, like a like a, a intelligence check. intelligence check to see what you know about quality of carts. Oh, all right, you know. I, look, look. Wow. I've, been, I've been studying. Wow. I've, wow. While, <laughs> while you rested, I studied the cart. This <laughs> to atone for my greatest sin. <laughs> this is like this is like the the like kind of um, what is it called? This is like the IKEA of carts, like like IKEA mm. put together cart that was just kind of followed instructions, um, mm. and like followed the pictures and stuff. So it's it's like a dime a dozen, but uh, it'll do its job, you know. I run my hand across the wood grain and get a splinter, and I'm like, and th <laughs> th 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 "Thank you, we we appreciate the help." Prickly pear just uh, gives a little bow. Oh, always glad, dearie. Now, do you do, do watch out for those blood monsters? Certainly. They got nothing on us. She gives, ho. she gives a little curtsy, starts to head back to the stables. Uh, before you go, I, 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 I don't know if you know this about me, but a uh, famous, very, very famous pilgrim myself uh, in the past life, you know. Uh, I can provide some useful information if you got any questions, but uh, you, you beat the three dragons already. You're very experienced. I understand if you're not looking for unsolicited advice. I know, I know. Uh, which... Interesting. Which, um, <laughs> when was the last time that you went on a pilgrimage? Oh, I only went the once, uh, 30 years ago. I was, uh, I was, uh, I was uh, with a Jade. You probably know a Jade. She's uh, from a Satya, yeah? Mm hmm She seems to have been very prolific. We saw her recently. She seems to have gone on a few. Yeah, yeah, very friendly adventure. Kind of, kind of, she never called herself this, uh, but a uh, good leader. Good leader, that lady. No. Oh. Can I ask, um... Who else was uh, a part of your your party at that time? Uh, let's see, uh, the, the very quiet, uh, the tiefling lady, not like to show her face, and a uh, uh, man here, uh, that uh, elven man from uh, uh, from Aguna. Not really he hear from him from a long time, long time. Just real quickly through all the character people we've met so far. I'm wondering. Yeah. <laughs> One of them was uh, your lady. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, yes. I yeah. knew about Shemaya. Mm -hmm. Oh, this guy traveled with Shemaya. Yeah. I have so yeah. many questions, but also absolutely no questions. <laughs> <laughs> Elven man could be like anybody. <laughs> yeah. Did you want to follow up on the Shemaya uh, thing or no? Mm, uh, kind of. It, it's a little bit weird, you know? It's like, like meeting people who knew your parents before you were there yeah. were your parents and being like, tell me about this person who I can never like know as a person. <laughs> um, I, I, I think if we have any questions, it would probably be more about like, Travis said his current political climate and how much trouble we're likely to get into through normal shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like this guy probably doesn't have that kind of opinion on, you know? Only one way to find out. Mm. Do you have any advice for navigating Trevisetta without ruffling too many feathers? Oh, shithole. Oh, shit. Oh, all about the money, 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 money. Everything the money. Standing around. Hey, you not pay for that space. Uh, try to use outhouse. Hey, you not to pay for that facility. Try to heal a friend who, who get mugged. Hey, you are not to properly license. Uh, try to get the license. Hey, you not to pay for a reservation to get the license. Only good thing there is a potion quality. <laughs> A good, good to potions, but the shitty company owner, huh? But, uh, oh, it, it hurts, it hurts, but, uh, don't be a hero. Just make, make too much of trouble. But, uh, that, that the heart, I, I don't blame you. You are, you are very good heroes. I see your heart, I see their good heart. But, oh, man, man, that lord, oh, he give me a headache. Oh, that sounds exhausting. Um, what about the dragon of Trevisetta? 
Do you think they'll give us any trouble? Oh no, dragon one. Uh, dragon is the, the the one good thing about the Trevor set. A very 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 nice lady. Uh, she uh, let's see uh, the the tiefling de- descent. Uh, very nice and uh, very young too. Uh, when I started, uh, she was merely teenager. Very impressive, a dragon. But uh, I bet I- you ten gold she's a loser. <laughs> oh. Who are you saying that to? Good luck. Yeah. Okay. You're saying that to him? (laughs) No, not him. (laughs) I'll, I'll, like, slide ten gold uh, his way as a a holder. (laughs) Well, uh, that about resolves all of my questions, I suppose. Ah yeah yeah Pavita yeah yeah she she actually from uh, from uh, Satya as well from a Hogir in the east yeah you might get along you might share some culture with her huh she's been away from home from a, for a long time oh thirty years now huh? she might might uh, might be your age too she was a teenager when I was a pilgrim hmm. must be nice and grown must be strong young young lady now hmm. well that'll be interesting yeah. Very heroic spirit. Heart of adventure, that one. Oh. Maybe right, we I'm can gonna... recruit her. <laughs> She's very busy, I'm sure. Nah. Yeah, let's Not get the cart like sorted. That. Yeah, we scoot our things. All right, you scoot your things, you get in we the cart. Uh, we, we should probably grab some rations, huh? Oh, actually, yeah. in Absolutely. the cart is provided. Ten Whoa. rations, Yay. as well. Comes pair. <laughs> yes, I rations. Him here is JPEG. So nice. Ten, ten <laughs> rations, fifty extra feet of hemp rope, and two crowbars. What crowbars? Heck uh, yeah! Give me that crowbar. <laughs> Do a wheel. He's got two crowbars. <laughs> Second. Oh, we should come like back here. This place question. rules. Yeah, this is the best place. I, I don't like this place very much. I don't want to come back. <laughs> what kind of rope was it? Hemp, Hemp. rope. Hemp. All right, you get the cart all set it up and ready to go. And as you head off, a lot of the town comes out to wave you goodbye, including Aww. Prickly Pear and Iker, the blacksmith, especially, especially, Especially Morrow, who is throwing like <laughs> confetti and flower petals. Like, oh. Goodbye, pilgrims. I'll miss you. Please stop by again soon. You've been such a delight. He's so nice. Why are they all so nice to us? We have to come back. It's yeah. it would be rude not to. <laughs> no, no, Pam. I presume. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Roll me a perception Wishful check. Thinking. Perception. <sighs> Roll me a come perception on, buddy. Come on. Come on, come on, dice! It'd be so funny. Damn it! Can I can I use my I can I use my inspiration? Yes, <laughs> you may use your inspiration to roll again. Sixteen. That's you notice Pam be seventeen Look is on. in the crowd. However, she's busy looking at the quest board. Mm. Mm-hmm. At the Adventurers Guild. Yeah, I, I got it. Okay. I was going to say, if I didn't want my feelings hurt, I shouldn't have asked the question. <laughs> Come on, man. I, I knew the answer. The last thing you hear is the voice of the boisterous Eduardo Barobia yelling off, Thank you so much for visiting my town of pilgrims. Take care of yourselves, <laughs> love yourselves, and rejuvenate the life of tree. Huh? Keep the land alive, no pressure. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing my game. <laughs> Thank you so much for to play my game. All right. <laughs> And you guys start to head back on the trail. Um, I don't have the new token for your new better cart. Cart Cart.jpg. Cart.jpg. So we're going to use the token for the old cart for the time being until I can get a proper cart.jpg token. In memoriam of all that was lost. Rip. (laughs) And you start. I'm not sad. Heading your way. (laughs) Cart.jpg. Following the road. I did want to talk to the party about something. Yes, you oh, have. Right. This would be the time. You have. I did as well. About a day's cart, worth of cart, travel cart. to do so. <laughs> I guess I'll steer the cart. Oh, yeah. There's something I uh, I really genuinely want to do here, and I'm not going to take no for an answer. Oh. You can help me or not, but uh, I want to drain their banks. Tre- huh? Uh, Trevisetta? Yes. They have oh. too many assets, they can pay too many people. And they are stretching way too far. 
we need to gut them a little bit. And I'm that's going to happen sorry. while we're there. Not entirely averse, as long as it doesn't interfere with our mission. But it how shouldn't. are you going to drain their banks? I'll plan it all when we get there. Hmm. What hmm. was the name of the kid? Did we send? <laughs> what was the name of the yeah. fake kid we sent uh, to? Little, I don't even. Oh yes. Did he um, tell us? His, he I did. I want to say it was Liam name. or something. I wrote it. He did. Oh, hold on. We he got his. We I somehow mean, got fae, his real. So. We did get his real name out of him, didn't we? I thought we did. Uh, well, we got uh, a name out of him. Like right as he was leaving. He said his oh, name. His name was guy. Liam, and then he yeah. said his name was something else. I'll have to rewatch the vod. Okay. Mm -hmm. That guy, and he he also could have just gone back to the circle. Yeah, he could have not gone to trips. Yeah. Yeah. Could have done Correct. anything. Correct. I mean. I'm gonna do a lot of planning when we're there. I'm gonna make sure everyone's safe with what we're doing, but it's something that needs to be done. It does right. seem like they're rather caught up in it, losing sight of the proper functionality of any sort of society in pursuit of taxing every little thing, but I don't claim to be an expert. When someone gets too fat, they start reaching too far, and I feel like Trevisetta is about to start a fire. Nip it in the bud, as they say. That metaphor had layers. Mm. No, that metaphor has no more layers now. Nip it in the bud. <laughs> uh, can I say something? Uh, yes. Yeah. I um, I I didn't know exactly how to bring this up, but I I was really considering um, I I really wanted to say that I. I'm sorry for getting us into that situation, and I take full credit for the damage that uh, we all include as a part of that. I mean, but, right after it happened, it really didn't sound like you were sorry. I get that. Um, I, I guess I haven't exactly been as, as, as clear about myself and who I am or what I was before all of this, which, as you can tell, has taken a big part of uh, my decision-making process, which which isn't fair, because we're all here, and we're supposed to be a team, as Fritz pointed out, but I just want to be clear that the issue with what I'd done was that I didn't inform you guys, because it seems like the issue, at least as I understood it, immediately after was that I put you all in danger and I thought we had established that being on this journey was going to be dangerous before we even left and now I'm hearing that we're going to go and try to drain the banks of Trevisetta and no one has an issue with that I don't mind I I've got no love for Trevisetta but Buck, it's because I you were being selfish what you were that, doing wasn't for the greater good. It was for something that you wanted, and you took us along. I don't want a single piece of gold coming from those banks in my pockets. I just want them gone. I no, I I understand that. That's one. Of, that's the point I'm trying to make. I I want to make sure that the reason, if the the reason that I hurt you all and got you hurt was because I, I wasn't being fully forthright with you about everything. And, and, and that's the distinction that I want to make. But I, I want to be clear that it's... Because I think we need to be the more... If we're going through with something like this, that we've all accepted the possibility that we're going to get hurt on this journey. I'm just not trying to make you guys sign up for anything more than you would have agreed to. And that, that's that's on me. And I'm trying to take some amount of responsibility for that. Danger is to be expected in pursuit of this journey. There are forces at work that don't want us to complete our mission for various reasons, despite its obvious necessity. And I think that danger in pursuit of the truth is similarly justified. I am not angry that you didn't tell us your true goal. I'm not even angry that it got me injured. I think 
I worry that our actual mission is losing focus somewhat. I think that Trevisetta's reach is long and worrying, and I don't want their influence in our town. It's worrying to see how far they've already spread. I think anything we can do to reform them or change their ways would be good, whether that takes the form of robbing them. Honestly, at that point, I just kind of trust word to understand how this works better than I do. Money is weird. But I think we should know what we're doing and why we're doing it before we can accept the dangers that come with. I accept that. I'm going to look for as much information as I can once we get in there, and I'll make my decision after that. The dragon might have some thoughts as well. If she's from Satya, I doubt she wants Trevisetta's influence that far as well. We don't know how long she's been here. You know, True. we can't trust anyone. Fully. Especially someone in Trevisetta. Yes, but at minimum, we must trust her enough to get the heart. Well. That's true. We know what we're here for. I hope so. And it seems like it doesn't really matter how we get it. Can, can we trust one another? I certainly hope so. Hmm. Buck? <laughs> Fritz? Um... Are you saying sorry? <laughs> You're saying, do you plan to do what you just did again? No. Then I accept your sorry. <laughs> just communicate for fuck's sake. <laughs> for future reference, did the Weather Witch give any indication of what she would do next before she left for the Southwest? Excuse me. Yes, I sniffed around the town in the morning. She departed from Tigamura some time before we woke. There's nothing in that direction but ruins, so... Buck, you let her just walk off. Yes. But did she give you any ominous warnings of future tribulations, or...? I suspect, based on my conversation with her, that she's going to... at the very least try and continue her work. Can you tell me why? Why she's going to try and continue her work? Yes, Buck. No. Why did you let her go? He's making sure that there's eye contact. <laughs> that I'm trying to avoid. That I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. I'll look, guilty I'll look, dog eyes. <laughs> I'll, look, I'll look at... I'll, I'll look at word. I... I'm not good at... Uh, I'm not good at talking to people and I'm not good at raising crops or sewing clothes or tending to animals um, I, so that's your I don't, excuse that you I'm, just I, I, let me let, good let, I'm, I'm I'm not trained in working with metals speak carefully I'm not trained on how to um, to, to speak in, in public for someone or to work with ceramics. The only you way that I've been, <laughs> word the only way that I've ever been able to make a living in this world has either been through luck or through hurting people. It's the only two things that I'm good at, and as. As, as dumb as this may sound, I, it's my fault that we put her in that situation. And to some extent, I understand some of what she is going through. Then you'll understand me when I say that I have had a hand in raising children, but I'm not one to trust them. Oh. Well, I'm sure she'll either not bother us again or become a problem that we can actually solve. Well, if she bothers us again, at least we're all on the same page. We could do it as a team this time. In the meantime, Buck, figure out who you are. 
not just your mistakes. Word, get an inspiration for that. Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, did he just call Buck a child? I think he did. That's <laughs> very roundabout way. I've raised children, but I don't trust them. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> fucking raw line. It's fucking devastating. Damn, he's raw. What on his metal arc right now? Cutting <laughs> hands off? <laughs> I like to, I'm just picturing Hard nonstop question. begonias in his head being like, ooh. <laughs> yes, he's eating. Living for the drama. It's like air horns going he's on. He's eating talking nether about world. that in therapy if he knew what that was. <laughs> he's eating nether world popcorn right now. <laughs> Right. You know what? Elbowing some other chain devil out of the way when he's trying to eavesdrop, like, no, it's my drama. Get your own goss. I wanted, I wanted to say, I wanted to say to to word, like, uh, he's I'm, done with the eye contact. I, I, can I put my hand like on on his shoulder just I, to make him look me in the eyes? <gasps> I, yeah, but I, they're cold. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly trying. And I, I haven't had help figuring that out. And I'll look. I'll just like kind of scan the cart. JPEG. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think some of the reason I've gone on this is to try and figure out who I am. And like most of my life, I can't do it. I've learned the hard way that I can't do everything on my own. So I'm just asking you to continue to trust me. I'll trust you when you've earned it. You can speak as much as you want. The gamblers are essentially ramblers. But when you have actual proof that you want to be a different person, then I'll see you as one. I take my uh, hand off a uh, word shoulder and I'll sort of smile. It's fair enough. And then I'll look over at, I guess, Fritz and Red. <laughs> or uh, Lyra, sorry. Oh, boy. wow. Oh, Red's okay. there. Ah. You know what? Ah. I'm, not, I'm not choosing violence today. Can I, uh, I want to go up to Buck and be like, look, Buck, things might seem a bit hostile right now. You fucked up. You know that. And you are working to change. But you can't expect everyone to be there cheering you the entire time. You're not owed that. You're making these changes to not hurt the people around you. So be patient and have hope. I'll at least try to cheer you on if you're not too much of a dick. <laughs> I'll just nod that laugh is like, so scary. In, a, in, in appreciation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna like roughly like bop bop on the back, like cheer up. Like I'm trying to get the energy of everyone out here. Like, ah, I don't let's move at all. <laughs> 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 it's like slapping a mattress. Let's go! We got some people to drain money from. <laughs> I never thought I would say that. Just driving uh, the JPEG. <laughs> on the road again. <laughs> on the road again. <laughs> so you guys make it about halfway. Lord, I was born a rambling man. <laughs> oh, um, passing up was kind of a... Let yeah. me sing you a song from Sorry. my, from <laughs> oh, my <home> oh, <laughs> We're doing too many bits. Heaven, West Virginia. All right. Yeah. All right. You guys sing songs and everything is A-OK -okay on the car. <laughs> Everyone is absolutely Sorry. happy with each other's behavior now. <laughs> no one's rolling on the random encounter table. Nope. And you guys... It's a real anxious energy we've created on the cart.jpg Fine. <laughs> I, feel, I feel God in this cart.jpg <laughs> <laughs> kind of fucking God. off the side of the road uh, <clears throat> actually uh, as night falls do you want to camp out or do you want to push to reach Trevisetta through the night I vote to camp that sounds fun I agree my love of random yeah. encounters and uh, ancient ruins full of spooky things thinks we should camp for the night near these spooky ruins <laughs> yeah let's yeah. do it yeah. I also show time to prepare Trevisetta <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah I'll camp <laughs> Oh, don't worry. I break the cart again. Yeah. <laughs> no, <I'm sure> <laughs> no not again. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> the textures of Trevor oh, haven't no. loaded in yet. We need to we need to hit a loading so, area. You guys need cart underspace cart dot jpeg. <laughs> <laughs> cart underscore two final version. Final version. Final version, that's final version for real. Final final. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, realistically, it's just called the, as 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 uh, jpeg. Yeah, as to as 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 final. The, the like pixel quality begins to go down on cart jpeg. Here we go. Speaking of cart dot jpeg, let's let's put that bad boy in here, shall we? Let's yeah, throw it. Yeah, 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 get it in there. Oh, it's Thank huge. You. Thank you, <laughs> Yamala. This is, this is this is way bigger than our than our regular card. That <laughs> non there we go. Downright palatial. Um, could I roll a perception to see if there's any like place to like a reverie or some kind of thing? Yes, you may. Actually, I think that. Well, actually, yeah. Perception. Go ahead. Actually, hold on. Before you do that, I'm going to use my special ability, Hearth Whoa. of Moonlight and Shadow, uh, which creates an invisible 30-foot sphere that grants a plus five bonus to stealth and perception checks while in it, and light from open flames within Ooh. it can't be seen. So we're, we're stealth mode camping. Stealth Whoa. mode camping. All right. That's what this is for. We just had the cart before. <laughs> That's really Bro, good. I need it. So that I is going to be lower with a, than my passive perception. That is going to be with a plus five. But it's five, a plus though. five. Yeah, so. thanks to so with a fifteen, yes, you do find a few little ponds, little bodies of water. Uh, not quite a river. I don't think there is a river that runs through this part mm. of Alinthi. But hmm. may I attempt to fish? Ah, you are going to attempt to fish. Oh. Looking for yes. crayfish, baby. <laughs> now, see, yes! I have. Yes! Oh my god, I love crayfish. <laughs> All right, <laughs> find me some crawdads. <laughs> Um, now, see, I actually have a system for this, thanks to my good friend and fellow dungeon master, Brett Ultimus, who has made a book that he has published called Why uh, Fight Monsters When You Could Be Fishing. Oh, my God. <laughs> awesome. why, why Slay Dragons When You sh Could Be Fishing, rather. Um, let me, whoops, uh, that is spoilers, sorry. D &D um, oh, I, luckily, I blinked. <laughs> yeah, yeah I no, for, for the chat. Um, so, uh, thankfully, I can simply open that up, uh, put that on a different window, and let's see, we are fishing in a pond, and there's a thing for this. So, since we are fishing in a pond, so how's this, how this is going to work is you are going to roll on... Let's see, normally you would pick the type of fishing that you would want to do, um, but mm -hmm. in this case, we're just going to simplify it and basically pick which mental stat you prefer to use for your fishing. Okay. Uh, whether it be intelligence, uh, wisdom, or charisma. And let's see, uh. we are, let's see, pond, pond fishing, pond fishing. We're going to see what kind of fish are available Pain, in this I can't pond. just dexterity my way through it this time. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Yes. And let's see, what is the weather right now? The weather, I'm going to roll a d100. Mm -hmm. Frightful. Also, Frightful. I wonder if anyone's picked up on why Fritz fishes a lot. I've actually, I'm, I'm a little mm. fucking nerd. Okay, is it because, because you're a bird? In... No, bird owls sailor. in particular do actually fish. Mm -hmm. Yay! Oh, I've seen so that. I was like, oh, I wanna, <laughs> I wanna incorporate that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it is scattered showers, just a little bit of a drizzle today, uh, but that is mm -hmm. favorable uh, weather according to the table. Um, and that means that if you roll a 10 or less, you will add three to the roll. Uh, now, so let's see, where's the fish table? Where's I love the that we found a fishing mini game in D&D. &D. Ah, here we go, pond Dude, fishing. I've got friends I'm with opinions so on that. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. All right, pond fishing. So you find a little pond uh, with thanks to favorable weather. You can, uh, you have a fishing rod, yeah? Do you buy one? No. Didn't I we? did not, I... but I have my talents. You have your talents, then <laughs> I would say you're going to be fishing oh, at disadvantage. No. Okay. Why do I feel like a fishing rod was mentioned at some point in the game? Was there a fishing I, I, rod? Was, I, I think you may have bought one from No I'm Tail. Like I'm like 90% certain you did buy a fishing rod. I don't know why I have that have in my mind. Do you have a fishing rod? I'm sure chat will tell us. Yeah, I don't no, know. I think, chat, I think do you remember? Fritz, I, I think Fritz bought one, I think. What? Do you remember buying anything called the Rod of Entanglement? I don't have one. I don't know that it was a. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm wrong. Because I don't think there was like a special. No, no, no. Rod. That's no, a I thing. Have a stick of, the stick of I, stickiness. I got the stick of stickiness, and then I got the pack of uh, tattoos. Because here's the thing: No Tail was the only instance where you could have bought a fishing rod, but he calls it the Rod of Entanglement. 
Oh, that might be why I So if you, if you did feel like you bought it, then I'm going to trust you. This is no, this I don't is think my, I did. Someone go back memory. from the VODs. We've only met No Tail like twice. <laughs> my, my, I have 10 10 foot lengths of string if you want one. <laughs> That's an and I have a stick of stickiness. I can there you go. But tie All right, it let's Minecraft I... this you bad boy. You want to tie the, the string to the stick of stickiness? Yeah, can I yes. do a sleight of hand just to A help? sleight of hand, <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. Arrow. Word, you can give me a sleight of hand. And I guess I could right. use an arrowhead at the end. <laughs> Yes, we're gonna Anything we're gonna shot. MacGyver I, together to a fishing rod, a, and I would say construct this megaphone uh, using nothing but duct tape. Sorry, you were gonna a say something. And a megaphone. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll let you use a silver coin because if it's accurate to D and D, they have a hole in them and they're triangle and they're ah, flipping. what wonderful. Okay, we're get good. Fish with expensive taste. Yeah, that is a high Ooh. roll. So I'm gonna say you handily craft together a makeshift fishing rod out of the stick of stickiness <laughs> some okay. string i'm gonna edit fishiness. the notes of the stick of stickiness <laughs> um, stick of stickiness rod form <laughs> rod form it's transformed oh no okay oh no okay you will no okay. longer be rolling at disadvantage <laughs> hmm? all right so choose your mental stat and you may roll if you roll a 10 or lower um, uh you will gain a plus you three i could use Charisma, in strength, and wisdom, right? Uh, charisma, One intelligence, or wisdom. Mm. That does make sense. I'm going to use wisdom. Wisdom, all right. Roll your wisdom. Yes. Uh, are they saving throws or just rolls? Just a roll. Just a, just a straight uh, wisdom. Ah, Ooh. fuck! Oh, <laughs> now, you have an inspiration. You do have an inspiration. I, just, I do. Can I use my inspiration? You I don't care. You may use, may use your use inspiration. On the fish roll, baby. Yes! <laughs> I'm so inspired while fishing. Okay. Oh, no. yeah. oh, but it's favorable, so I get a plus three. No, only yeah. if you rolled a ten or lower. Oh, you're all right. Fuck. Mm. Oh, no, this is exactly the worst thing you could have got. So. <laughs> it's fine. At the very least, you did get a fish. You you get Whoa. a bite on the line. You pull, you, you pull, and you just adjust it a little bit, and you get a chimera chub. What? And what is that? I'm going to show. Oh, wait, would I know what that is? I think is? that's a real fish. It is a, a real fish. I know it chubs. Uh, I will fish. post it in the Discord and I will share it with the audience as well. What is what is Fritz's really knowledge on fish? This is very audience. Animal Crossing suddenly. I will say that is your choice. You got um, a Chimera Chub. The name seems kind of judgmental. Yeah, so here's the Chimera Chub. <laughs> I'm looking at my background. It is a three headed fish. My background gives me anything. It is a what? Oh! Oh! Ooh. Don't don't look up Chimera Chub. Oh wait, no, never mind. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't don't look it up. <laughs> Do I want to know what you found? What did you find? Let me just let me just go ahead and search this. Don't do it. Oh boy. <laughs> well, now I'm curious. No, yeah. I, I shall resist. It's all right. It's fine. What? Can, yeah. someone, can you tell me to say DM me it? Don't DM me a picture. Just DM me what it is. I'll, I'll just I'll put an explanation in the little side chat. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, the Chimera Chub is a common fish with scales of a light blue hue. Three identical heads rest at the top of the fish, each more stupid than the last. The sputter horrifying gulps. Uh, it sputters horrifying gulps when excitable. Anglers often tear off all three heads fighting for bait, uh, making it an easy catch as one or more of the heads will be hooked in the process. I, you, sorry, words posted an image with a spoiler on the top of it, and I'm oh. so scared to click. It's oh, not graphic. That's simultaneously, like, not what I was oh, expecting, but okay. definitely should have been what I was expecting. Okay, yeah. okay, that was not that bad. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I detracted. I just wasn't ready for that. So oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not no, jumping. It's, it's not, <laughs> it's not is... it is safe for work, chat, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> There's not safer ones on the on my yeah. Okay, anyway. well stop looking at them. <laughs> I can't. I'm affixed. All right, sorry, go ahead. But yes, well, that is on the line. That is what you catch Fritz in your forays into the uh into the ponds. Uh, would I know if it's edible? Um I'm pretty sure it is edible. With that face? I'd say no. <laughs> Can I Indulge in casting my line two more times and see what I get. I was just about to say, yeah, two more times if you so wish. Give me another uh, wisdom check. Game? An eight. So that is going to be with a plus three, and that is a 12. Uh, No, no, no. That's an 11. Never mind. That's another 11. Ah, the same. You catch another Chimera (laughs) Chub. 
I mean, yeah. rolling on like a like a D one hundred for that, or? Uh, no, it is on a D twenty uh, table. Mm, tragic. Ah, oh, nat twenty. Whoa. Oh no, d- dirty twenty. Sorry. Uh, mm-hmm. ooh. Dirty, dirty, dirty. A dirty twenty. All right. So, this one. Okay. You hook on something, something big, something that's pulling your lure so much so that you're going to have to roll again. You need a 15 or more to successfully lure in this fish, whatever it is. It's pulling and pulling and fighting for its life. Roll me another wisdom. Am I... Oh, I guess I don't have enough reaction time to call for help. I'm just going. Mm -hmm. You got this. Don't say that. I'm going to fail when you say that. This is why did you say that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. (laughs) You see the flash of a crimson orange scale as you pull it out of the water and you see the glimpse of this bright diamond encrusted koi fish before it breaks the line and swims back into the pond never to be seen again. What have you <laughs> it's done? okay. It was it was too pretty to eat. I'm sorry well. none of us saw that. <laughs> I'm going to come back with two fish and I have I'm like I have six heads. <laughs> Uh, oh, good. The most edible part of the fish. I brought us food. <laughs> I'm like standing there proudly waiting for you, like some type of being like, wow, good job, Francis. I'm sitting there with my horrible fish. Like, <laughs> you know what? Word will um, go <laughs> collect the fish if, if you'll let me. I'll, I'll cook with them. <laughs> I'll make like some fish head stew with the six fish heads. <laughs> yeah, no like uh, filter out the fur. No check for this. Fur? Like, I don't. <laughs> did, was one of them a lion head? I wasn't here for that. Uh, I think they were no, all fish. No. They're, they're, they're all, all fish. three they're fish. Missed the picture. Yeah. There was a, a picture in general. Okay. It's just three notably oh, different see. looking fish heads. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Well, we get really interesting fish head stew, and then uh, just like flame grilled fish. Hell yeah. Belly. Um, oh, yeah. This is just for flavor. Uh, you are you can easily cook it. This is not going to ruin the meal. But can you give me a survival check real quick just to see yeah. how, how well you cook it? Oh, God, what's it happening all. today? What is it that? is. <laughs> this will affect nah. it, but just don't, like, crit fail. It is definitely one of the fish head soups of all time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this so anyway, I'm going to go throw up out of both ends. <laughs> <laughs> Unrelated to my recent exploit. As as you do, <laughs> when you were cooking the, the stewing the the fish heads, word you do hear kind of whispering in your ear. Yes, yes, that's the ambition I saw back at the well. <laughs> I'm so glad we're back, guys. I used to be so back. This. <laughs> Buck like sitting sadly in a lake or something. Looking at the I'm staring into the fire. Yeah. Yeah. I hear Buck staring into the fire forlornly while Word is like throwing up in the background. <laughs> We're having We're four back, very baby. different camping experiences today. <laughs> My fish. <laughs> I didn't know you could overcook and undercook a fish at the same time. I thought they were too small. Huh. All right. <gasps> so once things settle down, who is going to take the watches for the night? Everyone else seems strangely preoccupied. I'll take first watch. All right. <laughs> I'm sleeping. Lara's first watch. Who's second watch? I'll do second watch. All right. Buck is second watch. One. Who is final I... watch? Can I do final watch? You have Fritz's final watch. Sorry. What? <laughs> so first watch, Lara, give me a perception plus five thanks to your little feature. Certainly. Let's just roll a normal perception and we'll add five in post. Don't mm-hmm. tell anybody. Yeah, we well, can do that. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. How about that, baby? Wow, wow, I'll take wow, the 22. Wow. Okay. I want to know their big. social security numbers. Looking around, you easily spot what looks to be someone in some heavy plated armor who has been shadowing you but is wandering about <laughs> Because they are having a hard time finding where you are. They are clearly looking for you. Like, it's so obvious that they were trailing you. Um, mm. But now they are lost. When you say lost. heavy plate, are we talking like real heavy plate or like cardboard heavy plate? No, real heavy plate. <laughs> this thing is oh. glistening a little bit from the shine from the moonlight and the stars. Hmm. Let me just see if I have dark vision. I feel like I might possibly have dark vision. I think you do. Uh... 
actually. One of your I do. I have dark, have dark vision. vision. <laughs> What's up with this guy? Well, you have Are dark they within vision. sixty feet of us? Uh, within sixty feet. Let me let me roll for that. Uh, yes, actually, he's just like outside of the the sphere of influence of your little special thing that just keeps your fire dim, and he's just like you hear a familiar voice. That doesn't make any sense. They were just here a few hours ago. Hmm. It's your boy. Wait, familiar voice? Is that the guy I have a sending stone for? <laughs> Whose name escapes me right now? <laughs> Him or the drow guy that we kicked out of the first town? Oh, did that guy wear a full plate? Mm. He, he kind of had a wet net. cat vibe to me. Now. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. We we know the other guy in heavy armor. It's probably him. Handsome McHandsome Pants or whatever. <laughs> Edmund? He... Is that his name? Is that that guy? Edmund McHandsome Pants. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm think... going to pull out my sending stone to Edmund McHandsome Pants, and I'm going to be like, H- Hello? Uh, remember, as, me- looking for us? as mentioned, your what? sending stone does not work out of Nuba Sky. Oh, God, I forgot about that. Never, I thought we were going to have a really funny, like, no, I can see you. Like, well, what corner are you on? Uh, hmm. Yes, it was uh, a lesser sending stone, unfortunately, that would only really work in Nuba Sky. Tragic. Uh, He's the only one I can remember who had geez. evil plate. Yeah. There's no unlimited data out here, sadly. Oh, He's man. not in my notes. <laughs> I wrote down Edmund. I wrote down Edmund Knight Nubisky in my notes, so I don't know if that's him. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, oh, he's from Trevisetta. That's where I put his name. Huh. Yeah. Uh. All right. Is everyone like? Do I need to wake anybody up, or is this still early enough in the night that like we're still just kind of chilling? Um. Above board player permission. I'm probably sleeping if you if this is like a yeah, watch watch, fine. you're probably you're probably up I don't know if you're up by yourself, but I'm if I'm gonna take yeah. a second watch, I'm gonna try to I would probably be sleeping. Yeah, mm-hmm. I wanna give Red the chance to wake us up or deal with this <laughs> Uh yeah, I'm gonna wild shape into a panther and go out of the hearth to see what's up with this <laughs> nice. guy. Perfect. Okay. When in do doubt, you... wild shape into something with a really good stealth score. <laughs> Okay, so you're approaching stealthfully, or how are you? I, I want to try and like I, I'm not hundo p sure that I know who this guy is. Uh, I want to get close enough to be able to figure that out, and then I'll choose my next approach. Okay, you wild shape into a panther, and mm-hmm. approach him just normally. Well, no, low in the dark. <laughs> low in the dark. So you're doing it stealthfully, yeah. I'm doing it stealthfully. Give me a stealth check with advantage. Sure. Panthers have plus six to that. Holy Come shit. on, baby. So we're just going to roll mine, which is plus zero, and then we're going to just add six in post. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for this guy. All right, yeah. 25. You basically get within sniffing distance of this guy, hiding in the tall grass, and you see a very familiar face, Edmund Goldbark. Edmund yeah. Goldbark. Ah, oh, there's the name. So cool. happy I got the name right. Awesome. He is right. searching around, scratching his chin, looking about, and checking his map. He pulls out a map and just like, they were just here. Hmm. Can a panther cough politely, DM? Yes, <laughs> can, like, but it's going to sound like a panther. Well, I'm going to be sitting like just kind of like 10 feet back just upright so that when he turns around it's like oh shit how did i miss yeah. this panther there <laughs> like in the direction of where the camp is yes okay so you're just going to be trying to just sit upright to still mm-hmm. yeah yep okay and you and make a little panther cough. panther cough and he just turns and sees your silhouette in the darkness oh good god <laughs> um i'm gonna walk back towards the camp and then like look over my shoulder <laughs> He kind of like hands to his sides in a sort of like Chris Pratt approaching the Raptors. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you perhaps a druid of some kind, or are you just a <laughs> random animal? I- I'm not sure what's native to uh, Elinthi. I might just oh, be talking to a regular this guy animal. Is so useless outside of a city. Uh, I'm gonna take him up to the edge of the camp so that his talking like <laughs> becomes it loud makes- enough for the others. <laughs> Oh, my passive perception is 19. I think I'll wake up first. It makes him hotter, in my opinion. <laughs> Probably. 
What's happening? Why is there a handsome man's voice? <laughs> mm. Are you just a very well-trained large cat? Do you have an owner? Oh, it's that guy. Hi, that guy. <laughs> uh, sounds like there's a himbo outside of our town. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you yell that word? Uh, yeah. Hello, Ma guy. Is that Master Word? Uh, God King Word, but close enough. Uh, apologies, uh, my lord. Uh, Master God King Word. If he's within the radius of the hearth, he'll be able to see the fire now. Okay, so. then, yes, he will walk close enough following the voice of God King Word. Uh, is that panther with you? <laughs> I <laughs> would assume that it is with you. Just gives Word the look. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna oh, go. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna look at Lyra and be like, oh, Lyra, were you out? Were you? You already here. I never know how to talk to this guy. It's very easy <laughs> having the plausible deniability of what I'm a panther right now. <laughs> what are you doing here, guy? Um, Lyra, were you? Did you? Did, why didn't you wake us up? There's a, what's I, happening. My apologies. I was not. Meant to. <laughs> That's what he gets for following strange panthers Mint. in the middle of nowhere. This guy needs Not to learn some yeah. fucking rural survival skills. <laughs> Not Mint. meant to do what? Find you? Okay. That you had here for somebody else? Yes. <laughs> okay, I, I love the tone. Who are you looking for? He freezes up, his mouth kind of like sucks in. What is happening right now? Can you, can, we're, it's very late. Uh, can you just tell us what the heck is going on here? Who's got a good insight? I uh, apologize, my lord. I have, I have a. But if I were to do that, I would not be a very good knight. Huh? Is he under orders that he doesn't like? Can I do an insight check? Oh, you I may do an something. insight check. Come on, buddy. <laughs> He's flirting? What the hell? <laughs> Someone can help her if they so wish. Too busy feeling awkward. I can, I can try. Oh, oh. all right. Oh. Hey, oh. <laughs> I'm like looking him up and down like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, you can tell that's exactly what's going on is he's probably doing something that he really doesn't want to do. Hmm. So I'm you staying in weren't Panther supposed mode, then. to find us. Maybe he didn't want to find us because if he did, he'd have to do something he doesn't like. Is what somebody who could talk would say. Were you so you weren't supposed to find us? Uh, well, uh, that's um, uh, you see, it's it's quite classified. I'm not really allowed mm. to say, and even explaining that I'm not allowed to say, it's probably already too much information. Classified to the point you can't tell the pilgrims, hmm? Uh, with all due respect, my lord, there are others above you. Yeah, I don't see them saving this whole life tree thing, though. Um, you uh, know. That is true, I admit. We're in a circle with a panther, and there's there's not a way for people to really hear. It would be crazy if <laughs> somehow <laughs> you just let the truth slip. No one would know, <laughs> right, friend? <laughs> Is that a persuasion or an intimidation? The persuasion. smooth slip from like the threat to like, we're yeah. all friends here, who's gonna we're know? <laughs> Can you give me Wait, a I mean, persuasion? How would, he perceive, would, he, would he perceive it as a threat or, or persuasion? Well, that all depends on how this persuasion with advantage roll goes. <laughs> the only threatening thing I've been doing is being a panther. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, look, I don't want to hurt you, but my panther is really <laughs> hungry. <I> mean, <laughs> you followed a panther is into a, a place you don't know. Is a persuasion with advantage? It is with advantage, so you may roll again. Uh, See if you get something higher. I'm Come loving on. playing Fritz, as you don't know if they're threatening you or your friend at the moment. <laughs> Pirate uh, cat in the future. <laughs> All right. There you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that just, luckily, that advantage just made it. Oh. <laughs> um, well, I, uh, I am going to, oh, I failed as a knight yet again. I apologize, my lords. I am under order to keep an eye on you ever since your departure from Politrios. By who? By the lord that I answer to, Lord Tehero. I said the guy in full plate for the stealth mission. <laughs> I... 
Oh. He's failed as a knight. He's already explained it. They're going to disown me back home. Oh. Well, Wait, I mean... Do they know that yeah. you told them? Oh, Lord Teharo's the guy who rules Nuba Sky now. Yeah, he's we, we dislike yeah. him. Lord Teharo yeah. seems to be kind of at the center of a lot of people we don't like. Mm. Wait! But he's still all the way back in Nuba Sky. Wasn't he the one that put a thing on our... He's the one that gave us the cart. Yeah, yes. he's he's the one who gave us the cart with the with the GPS tracker he's, on it. He's I, awful vibes guy that we can I tell like, you know before. what? I'm gonna he's got the crazy chin, right? Let me see if we. I'm see causing drama. Stuff. He's hot. I'm ah, causing hot, drama, guys. I'm ah. gonna be like, oh, that guy. He uh, remember that cart you gave him uh, t- that <laughs> gave us, right? Um, yes, indeed, it was quite a generous gift. I thought. Yeah, almost killed us. Was that the card's fault? You know what, it's fine. Card. Yeah, I it had it a the symbol on it that was actually. gonna get well, us. the symbol wasn't killing us, it was just figuring out where we were. Yeah, I just, I'm being dramatic. Oh, you're being dramatic, okay. I'm gonna need mm-hmm. a... <laughs> a drama roll. Either a deception or a per- another persuasion. So I, I feel like that's not lie, entirely yeah. the truth. Hmm. Yeah, it's not the truth, but it's not a lie. I don't know if we want to lie to this guy. He feels I do. very well. <laughs> Fritz, Fritz, is this yeah. the hero Why guy? is the ah! panther talking? I'm being, I don't Panther's care. not I'm talking, dramatic. Panther's just chilling. Listen, I'm taking a, a feather out of books. Books? Words book, words. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm feathers. I'm sure it wasn't that dramatic and, and I'm sure Lord Tahero had a good reason for it. It's just beyond my degree of, of influence. I, I am not always privy to every single piece of information as, you know, threat of capture can perhaps get the information out of me. It's uh, for the realm's safety, after all. Is that guy Tahero still back in Nuba Sky? Uh, Damn it. <laughs> this poor I fucking guy. <laughs> don't know if it's better if I say or not. It's definitely better if you say. Well, no, he has... Did you know that we picked up a fifth member along the way? <laughs> he's been tracking you for a while, and he's got a real pretty arrow aimed at your head right now. Oh, my God. Huh? Can I make a deception check? Make a deception check. Buck lies to us okay, one time, we and we all go out the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> this has always been word. I suppose that's true. I want a drama, but this is a different level. I just feel this bad. This guy's clear. This guy's definitely being hundred percent sincere. He's just misled or something. He just needs okay. a little bit of encouragement. <laughs> Listen, we gotta break him out of his shell, okay? <laughs> One way or another. Where oh. is that guy? Can't he just drops to his knees. I'm not cut out to be a knight. Uh, he is good. Lord Tahero has returned to his home in Trevisetta. I hold up two fingers to signal that the sniper shouldn't fire. <laughs> oh, God. The sniper unknocks his arrow. <laughs> I, I don't know that it, about all that about you not being... I mean, you're a good Wait, knight. Wait, then who's in charge of Nuba Sky now? Lord Tahero, of course. He has taken all over after the previous lord was he's dismissed of charge, his... but he's not even there. No, he rules remotely now. I, as for being a knight, I... I want that guy on a list. I mm-hmm. don't know that I can call myself a knight, as a, a true knight is sworn to their lord and given all their aid to the lord's cause, no matter the cost, and without compromise, and I'm afraid I did just that. But it sounds like you might not agree with what's going on. <sighs> and you're an oath breaker. There's no turning back now. Go, God! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh, I mean... In in a certain way, I mean, you you've got your honor, and that's that's count. I mean, it counts for something to have that, right? Perhaps that is true, but uh, that's precisely why I think I might not be cut out for this whole knighthood business. Uh, when you become a knight, you must unlearn the personal part of your life, and given that you are an extension of the lordship that you are serving under, to put forth their every whim and their every wish without hesitation. For a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, and when you become a knight, you become a link in the chain. I thought thought knights were supposed to protect the weak and do what's righteous. 
Perhaps that is the belief of the Lord. Our job is not to think for ourselves. That is the job of a mercenary. And though I do not, dis- uh, I mean no disrespect by that comment, a knight's job is to, uh, perhaps I should frame it like this. And I, I pray I do not mean any offense by this and present it with the utmost respect. If you felt as though you, without a shadow of a doubt, had a solution to saving the world, would you not want others to follow? Depends on what you think. I think they want to take our hearts and save the day for them. Yeah, is what I would say if Panthers could talk. <laughs> and no, I was inclined no, to no, say no, that in front no, of the guy who's being no, cagey. No one is forcing you to stay in the Panther mode. I, I don't want to waste the wild shape, and it's really Fair comfy enough. not having to talk to this guy. <laughs> so you're talking about some guy who's going to 100% save the world and that you're following him. Then why are you, as someone whose entire job it is not to ever think for yourself, talking to us now? Well, it sounds like you have doubts. I never said that I knew he would 100% save the world. Uh, we only are as strong as our convictions, after all, our beliefs. Mm. Everyone likes to think that they'll save the world, and a knight's job is simply to trust in their leader, that they are being guided with a veritable purpose, and that such loyalty is required if that purpose is to be met so that there are no problems from the inside, no gears that are un- that are turned the wrong way, as it were. Sometimes a large machine requires many gears in order for it to function, such as a society, perhaps. Yeah, but if you've got a large machine that's run by an idiot and built of people who don't think for themselves, it probably doesn't have a good purpose. Well, I do not deny your words which is precisely why I've come to realize (laughs) it's precisely why I've come to the conclusion that I might not be cut out for this. Uh, While we're having the uh, pretty boy elf existential crisis speed run, can I be keeping an eye out for like other things that might be sneaking up on our significantly less stealthy camp? (laughs) Like a sniper, perhaps? (laughs) (laughs) Yes, you may. You may have one. You may have another perception with uh, with a plus five. All right, thank you. Uh, as a panther, my perception is plus four, so we're going to roll mine and then add six to it because mine is plus three. Holy shit. All right. Hey. Wow, nice. You look around, and as far as you can tell, there is nobody else around that has been looking for you. The only things that you see are the distant lights of Trevisetta to the north and the, the stars above you. All right, well, that's a good sign. You are you are safely private. All right, back to the existential crisis. <laughs> but you you don't have to. I mean, you don't have to be a knight. It's not the only thing to do, and there's at the very least some amount of, I don't know, value into serving the greater good as opposed to just like one guy. Uh, perhaps you misunderstand my situation. Becoming a knight has extremely high standards, and any betrayal of that oath is met with extreme scrutiny. I can never go home again. How about being our sixth member? (laughs) I apologize, but I don't think my conscience would allow me to do that. Ah, it's disappointing. Well, then, I mean... I'm going to change back so I can talk. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you're you're, you're you're better at talking than us. <laughs> when did you betray your knightly standards? Uh, well, if you want to be technical about it, just now. As soon as I gave information about the true intentions of my mission, which was against the wishes of the Lord that gave me said mission, I broke my oath. You were ordered to shadow us. Indeed. And have you been doing that since we left, or since we broke that cart? Just as soon as Lord Tejero had a meeting with uh, the Lord ah. of Pelitrios, I was ordered to come shadow you and make sure to keep an eye on you as the track on your cart was removed. I- I'm going to step a little bit closer and kind of eye him up. Does that mean that you know what they talked about? I apologize. No, I do not. I was simply given orders, and I knew the context of where they came from. I simply know sometimes of where Master Tejero is, at least in the past, and what he told me, the orders of which I had to follow. All right. I'll trust that. 
Well, I can't imagine that you keeping track of our location and telling us that would automatically break any oath, unless you're suggesting that Lord Tejero wished to know our location for some form of antagonistic purpose that would put us at odds, making this information dangerous for us to have. Mm -hmm. Perhaps that may be so, but that is not information I was privy to. And yet you feel exceedingly guilty about giving us anything. If you just kept trailing us, then you haven't failed, have you? No, but I have revealed the truth of my mission. Though, was there any order to say not to say the truth? There was, yes. Oh, well. Fuck. Mm. Is there any possibility that you were set up to fail? No offense, but (laughs) if I were picking somebody to shadow us, it wouldn't be the knight in shining armor. I had considered that. Lord Tejero's methods are questionable at times, but that was not my place to speak out. Well, the way that you're laying the situation out right now, tonight can't end peacefully unless you cave some way. That is true. And I feel as though my place may not be in Trevisetta or back home in my home kingdom anymore. I might be stuck in the wilderness forever. Did, did, did he not give you instructions as to what to do if you were spotted? No. He said failure was not an option. And he sent you out into the wilderness in full plate to surreptitiously follow us. He didn't send me in full plate. This is simply the only armor I I own. Well... He did not want to expend precious resources on a single unit in pursuit of his mission, whatever that may be. But he didn't want you to fail... No, Lord Tejero truly has very high standards. Well, he might be malicious, he might be incompetent. Does he have any allies in Tigamira? Not that I'm aware of, but I am not a native of Alinti and not truly uh, in in the know of uh, the ins and outs of the social structure here. I apologize. Look, here's my strongest suggestion for your next course of action. Go back to Tegamira. Speak to somebody named Eduardo and no one else. And hide. If you do anything else, you're in trouble either from your master or from us. Or you can... It's not a bad idea. Stay in the woods. And face real panthers. For the sake of clarity, Eduardo... Well, I don't think panthers live in this part of... (laughs) I don't know that. (laughs) You're the druid. For the, for the sake of clarity, Eduardo runs an adventurer's guild and is a former pilgrim from years past. Uh, he's very boisterous and will probably first approach you in the world's thinnest disguise. Uh, but if you are handy with any sort of weapon, I'm sure he'd be delighted to have you. Does it does it make sense for if you're trying to get away from Lord Tejero for him to go to Trevisetta? I mean, I think that would be they, the opposite they have... of the <laughs> Trevisetta. Or not, um, uh, not, not Travis. Tigamira. Uh, Tigamira. They, they, because they have that, um, like, annex. I mean, New Biscay, if you could make it, or not New Biscay, but Sachi, if you can make it back there, very least would be somewhat away from watchful eyes as far as our dragon's concerned. Much as I would love that, um, Lord Tahera will be waiting for my report, and I feel as though. He will not get it. Well, there may be benefit in keeping this up as long as possible. It seems to me that you've already come to a conclusion about your service to Lord Tejero, regardless of your results of this quest. Yes. I have indeed failed, and that is the conclusion of it, and there is no return from this. Leira, I like your thinking. I don't know if that's true. Look, let's take a step back here, my friend. Because, according to your current circumstance, you are very well aware you should not leave tonight alive, either by our hand or by your master's. So our best course of action is to pretend like none of this ever happened and recognize that you owe us your life. Uh, Very well. Though I do may may take you up on that offer to head to Tigamura for, um... I do not believe I can show my face in front of any Valenti official now, 
What with? I mean, it seems like you're really good at giving information to us. To be <laughs> fair, there there is an uh, Elinthi official at Tigamura. That's just what I was the one earlier. Mm-hmm. We yeah. we spoke I mean, to her like... briefly. She seemed polite, uh, if <laughs> overworked. Why not just pretend that we don't know what's going on? Yes, it seems that your failure is only known to us unless Lord Tejero has some form of additional surveillance on you, which, thinking about it, would be entirely in character, does he? Mm, he, he scrunches his lips again. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Great. Well, you're I mean... welcome to some some burnt fish. If, I mean, <laughs> yeah. if you're Delicious. already... I, hmm. You're, I have a, I you just... say you failed as a knight, right? Indeed. Maybe that means there's a different calling for you in life. This isn't the end. You don't have to sit in the woods your entire life. It's a bit melodramatic. Um, just know there's options out there. There are many things you can do. There are many like people who don't really the like... Savers, the saviors is up to you. <laughs> there are also many people who the don't world. really like Alinthi officials either. I am sure you will find many places to work and many places to continue your life in a lot more comfortable position I mean we do have a we do have a god king who could <laughs> probably knight you um, that may be true in but ways. Mm-hmm. knowing your knighthood and I could give you a lovely home I do appreciate the offers and, and well wishes but with me having this very specific mission assigned by Lord Tehero himself and knowing how valiantly he pursues his missions I would be running for, for the law for a very long time, and I don't know if that is the life that I want to live. I, I'm trying to give you a different option here. I'm not sure if we're all on the same page. Word. I say you pretend you didn't talk to us. You go back, and you give us a report later. I suspect that Lord Tejero has some form of knowing that mm-hmm. this conversation has happened, if not the contents of it. The specific so? conversation, I'm not so sure. At least my location, he will know. And I see. I'm not exactly a very good liar, as you may have this seen. So you think that <laughs> when you deliver your report in Trevisetta, he will confront you with evidence of your quote-unquote failure, and your life as a knight will be over. And you'll be too weak. I will be sent back to my home in Belkinus, and my knighthood will be revoked, and I will be likely thrown in prison for quite a few years for disobeying the Olynthian Lord's orders. All because you can't keep a straight face. <sighs> well, if Lord Trevis, uh, Lord Trevis, if Lord, there sounds like a tyrant. tyrant. If Lord Tejero <laughs> truly believed that you could dodge our awareness of your presence as you followed us through three separate towns at this point Mm -hmm. in I must restate full plate armor at all hours of the day he's either very foolish or actively malevolent and you were set up to fail is there any reason you can think of why he would do such a thing to you he looks down kind of scratches his chin a little bit The man likes to display his power over people. What little I've observed of him, I can read his character fairly well, and he likes to show people their place, that they answer to him, and that he is the one in control. I believe that giving me such a task that was destined to fail unless I had a miracle working on my side was to establish such dominance. Then why are you ashamed that you failed? Yes, if anything, it seems he's failed the Lord's first duty to his knights. Because I not only failed a malevolent man, I failed my home. You see, Belkinus, it's uh, not exactly a place to brag about. And since I was a lad, I'd, it's always had problems. And only in recent years have things finally tried to settle down. And now... That trying to help out Olinthi as a show of good faith to rebuild some bridges with the fellow kingdoms that they've lost contact with, but some help I've been so far, and all I've done is sh- sh- show you where the tavern is and get shot, and now I've even failed the last mission provided to me. Mm. And, and you're also defining yourself by that failure and refusing to change. 
There is perhaps another angle on this. I don't know if it's failure if you saw what was wrong and decided to not go along with it. Do you believe that Lord Tejero is the best possibility for the leadership of Alinthi as a whole? Do you believe he's representative of the greater good that you are sworn to be working for? I mean this with no personal attack on the man. No. Then it seems you have not yet failed in the only mission that truly matters. He perks his eyebrows up at that. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, it's also literally our job to save the world. Yeah, like Quarantia. I think I think Quarantia. your hometown would oh, be a little bit forgiving if you helped the people who are trying to actively save the world that they abide in instead of going against them like a certain high official you call under. Yeah, I don't I, I think I'm set I, you up to be a rube. I, I don't, I really, especially at this point in our journey together, I don't feel like I should be speaking for the group on this, but, and even if Lord Tejero is listening to this, um, fuck him? Like, I, I don't understand. <laughs> I, like, I don't, uh, you're doing a, a fine job and you clearly have your heart in the right place, so I don't think we really care what Lord Tejero thinks. He seems like he's only doing worse for this place. I'm not really that, seen. Uh, it's actually a really good point. Can someone check this guy for like magic? <laughs> I don't. I didn't prepare detect magic. I feel God like I had a scroll. Oh for wait! It at ooh, some point. Ooh! Ooh! I, I, know. I can. I can do. I can do a a thing. What's happening today? <laughs> I have. <laughs> I have for some reason. Oh! oh I think oh, you I, can I, I don't have it. But I can use uh, magic awareness as an action. You can open your awareness to the presence of concentrated magic until the end of your next turn. You know the location of any spell or magic item within sixty feet. Yeah, all right, there you go. When 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 you sense a spell, you learn what school of magic it belongs to. That's how I found the the tracking spell in the first place on our. Oh on heck our yeah! Ship. Oh yeah! I do have dispel magic prepared if we want to just. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd like I, to nah, use magic. He's probably got enchanted art. Yeah, yeah, that would be rude. Yeah, we wouldn't yeah. know. Mm-hmm. Lady Luck. Erasing they call them. her Lady Luck. I like to use magic awareness. Yeah. Okay. Magic I can awareness. Post, I can post that, I think. Like magic ear, magic eye, magic everything on this guy. How do I share this? Is it this? Magic oh. scribe. Okay. Magic awareness. All right. You notice that indeed, as he has accounted of some sort of tracking on him, there's a divination spell on him. Hmm. Do I, is it, is it from an item or is it just like on him in general? It's just kind of on him. Some kind mm, of very no, no. strong spell, um, likely in very similar description to the one that you found on your cart. So yeah, this guy's being tracked. I d- well, can't really tell if he's... Kill him. No! <laughs> uh, I look him like in the eyes and I narrow him. Are you sure? <laughs> he also already told us that he was being magically tracked. This isn't mm-hmm. news. Mm-hmm. Right. I can't figure out based on this, whether it's hit, we're being listened to, I don't think. I believe he implied that it was only his location that would be known until he gave his report. I have a question. Are there any other knights from your kingdom at present in Olynthi no. on the same journey that you are? So you currently represent an act of goodwill from a foreign country that Lord Tejero most likely cannot extend his influence into as strongly as he can the rest of Alinthi. Uh, that is true. It seems to me that perhaps he has very good reason to construct plausible deniability to eject you and slam the door behind you so that your people don't interfere in whatever obvious expansionist plan he's been working on. Hmm. I'm very new to this politics thing, but that seems like the kind of nonsense they'd get up to in pursuit of power or whatever's going on. Very well. I shall take your suggestion of continuing on my moral duty more than my political one into account. I will consider it, and I think I will head towards Tigamura and think about my next course of action. It's just... Lord Tehero is a very powerful man. I will warn you, when you head into Trevisetta, well, I can't truly tell you what to expect, but expect misguided people. Not evil, just misguided. Thanks to an evil man. 
Oh, an evil man. They... Who's that? That's not the Tahero. <laughs> yes, it's, it's Lord Nicholas Tahero. Yes. Oh my God, he admitted. Yeah. <laughs> well, we all know he's evil. Well, I suppose it's good to have confirmation that he does seem to be actually a bit of a dick. And standing up to him, although it be the righteous thing, it's not the easy thing. In fact, it's a very, very difficult thing. And it's why I apologize that my fear may have taken over me in our conversation. But I do believe there are good, if misguided, people in that province. Please do right by them. Hopefully, we're going to do right by everybody. Thank you. I apologize again for this betrayal. It truly did not even register as a betrayal. Oh. And do find Eduardo. I'm sure he'd be very good at bolstering your spirits. Of course. I will try to keep a low profile, which I guess... And he starts to undo the straps and stuff around his... Mm-hmm. Oh, plate mail. Huh? Oh, okay. He, he, do, okay. he does. <laughs> uh, revealing oh. the Just the cloth around. and uh, padding underneath, which he keeps on. I don't think <laughs> I can really. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> I don't think I can really wear these um, these pieces anymore, as they are they will be too recognizable. <laughs> if I'm to be undercover, I believe that um, it should be. In cover that does not glimmer with the shining light of the stars. Is he I'm... still uh, being tracked? Because I can try to spell magic on him. Yeah, how long does uh, magic awareness last? Uh, it's... Oh, he can do it three times. Three so times. once he takes off the armor, you can... Yeah, you can do it again. You can see that it's armor. on his person. But uh, yeah, you, you had a dispel magic thing? Uh, I can cast it uh, at third or fourth level. Or um, actually... I'm gonna be a, a give Whoa. a little hint. Um, huh? Sergey's wand mm. has a dispel magic on it. Sergey's wand. Who's got Sergey's wand? I have somebody's wand. Probably Sergey's. Wand. He, or rather, Sergey's heart, which is a wand. Nice. Sergey's oh, heart have, has have, magic have, spells in it. I, don't I have Sergey. I I have it. I have Sergey. I think what? it did. Did that always have the ability? To oh do wait, sorry. Detect that? magic. My mistake. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, get pranked. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, I can cast Dispel Magic at fourth level, uh, okay. which will, um, if, if he'll permit me, uh, for every spell of fourth level or higher on the target, I'd need to make an ability check with my spell casting ability, DC 10 plus the spell's level. Um, if that's my spell attack, I have a plus six to that. Um, and uh, if it's third level or lower, it automatically gets dispelled, but I'm assuming it's not. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's roll that. Wait, it's your. It's a spell save DC, right? So they have to roll against it. Uh no. Uh no. I need to roll an ability check using my spell casting. Ability. Oh, okay. DC is set so by you, the level of spell. I that they see. Cast yes. All right. Spelling. Yeah. Exactly. Let's see it. All right. Let me just hit cast. See if it'll auto roll it for me. It doesn't look like it. Um. Nope. Okay. Cool. I'll just roll my spell attack. I guess. All right. Mm, it's. Yeah, spellcasting ability. So, okay, so that's 14. So if it was level 4 or lower, it gets dispelled. Yep. But I feel like... And you, yeah, you uh, cast a spell magic, and Buck, you no longer sense that there is a sp- uh, divination spell upon him. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Well, now they know that we know. Well, now they know that something happened to you doesn't necessarily well, Now they know, know we killed you. <laughs> They, that you could mean to... any number of things to them, but uh, if I'm to go undercover, it could be interesting to pretend to be a dead man. <laughs> you want us to bang up your armor a little bit? or um, I don't think we need to do that. <laughs> whatever the case may be, I think the armor is yours. I have no use for it now, especially when trying to hide my identity and hide myself from the authorities, as that is the most distinguishable part, uh, distinguishable part of my character, I believe. Excellent. Yeah, it's well, got like an emblem like right there. Right there. Yes. Um, uh, rather than turn it's you loose on the road at night without your accustomed armor, would you like to share our campfire until morning yeah. and then travel back to Tigamure? Are you sure? Yes. Very well. Um, thank you, my lord. That is right. extremely generous of you. 
Can I give him the... I want to give him my hasty sugar bomb. I feel like he's going to get a lot more use out of it than I will. <laughs> yeah, you welcome to the camp. Take some candy. <laughs> yeah, you hand him well, some... No, no, no. <laughs> the reason why is a hasty sugar bomb can be eaten using as an action to increase your movement speed. Mm, so we can run, run to, to mm -hmm. take a mirror faster. Oh, I'm good. gonna give him that. Oh, I think that's from Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate kind of frost sugar, sugar bomb. bombs. Yeah. Some it's not a lot. It's only five for now, but that's that five can mean quite a bit. Some magically imbued candy. Thank, thank you. He can stay here, but he's he's not. I'll. He can have a different watch. I'm going to bed. <laughs> oh. Also, lose the formalities. You're not a knight anymore. <laughs> oh, uh, of course, my lord. Uh, uh, of course, uh, Fritz. <laughs> going to take some getting used to. I am. All right. I've trained from a very young age. I, I apologize. <laughs> nothing wrong with manners. I'm going to go back to making sure nothing tries to eat us. <laughs> and as you go back to your usual watch, um, Edmund is just kind of like stealing glances at you. Now, every now and then, he seems befuddled by your course of actions. Just all of us? <laughs> yeah. That's fair. <laughs> oh, he's been in Trevisetta too long. Yeah, we're on you. This is like garden variety adventurer stuff. <laughs> and, uh, yep, so, first, <laughs> the first third of the watch is now complete. You um, got a himbo. Second is Buck, is it? Yeah, it's me. All right, Buck. Oh, dang Second it. Watch. I should do my, do my watch, I guess. If there's anything else. That, more, no. Is there any more himbos out here? <laughs> Let's see that perception check. Popping up. A little. Like, ooh, any himbos? Ooh. Realizing maybe wives aren't the way and a husband might be the way. Maybe a husband. Maybe that is the way that I will. Maybe that would fix me. I need. I need. <laughs> any, looking for himbos out here. All right. <laughs> scanning around, you don't seem to see anything going on. You see one typical trading cart kind of pass you by on the road, like a few like hundred feet off since you're away from the road in sort of a secluded location, but otherwise uneventful watch. And you can see as well that Buck on your watch, Edmund has fallen asleep. Is everybody asleep at me? I think so, right? Just vibing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for you to be woken up from my watch. We don't have any I'm asleep elves meditating. Actually, Edmund's probably right. meditating. All right, I'll, yeah. go, I'll go wake up. Fritz. Uh -huh. Fritz. Yeah. It's your, it's your watch. Okay. If there's, if you see any other strange men, don't don't lead them back to the camp. <laughs> Just I... leave them wandering the night, beautiful and yeah. confused. <laughs> they need to be free range. <laughs> I will leave the himbos to free range. <laughs> All right. Good, good night, friends. Good night. Okay. What a weird, weird adventure. <laughs> Ooh, Hot diggity. Wow. You, Fritz, you keep, there is another himbo. beautiful elfman in distress. <laughs> you keep in your a lookout, <laughs> and you notice that without the armor, Edmund actually is very proficient at sneaking. Um, and it might have been the armor that was the only thing stopping him. That if it weren't for that, he probably He's could have gone. keep tracking you because he is extremely quiet mm. as he is packing his things and getting ready to. Um, leave the group and head towards Tigamura at the break of dawn. Oh, they absolutely set him up to fail. Ah, symbolism. It was them <laughs> who set him up to fail. I'm just, I'm gonna, I, I don't want to alert everyone, but I'll just like wave at him. I assume he's gonna look back and I'll wave. So he knows I noticed. He sees you waving and he just like gets a little bit startled and just like, <laughs> just like a, does a little gesture and whispers, sorry, sorry, I... I didn't mean to draw her attention to myself. I... <laughs> oh God, this poor man. No, Respect into rogue levels, baby. I barely noticed you. Uh, you are very sneaky without the armor. Well, thank you. Our, our training was very grueling to make sure that we were proficient in as many skills as possible so that we could both to fit any role that a lord would need us for. Well, now I'm sad again. Mm. Well, now you can use those skills to do what you would like. It is going to take some getting used to. I, perhaps adventurers in the guild and such as yourself might be the best place to learn what I want to do might be. Mm. Thank you for Imagine teaching me. Imagine if you me want that. to avoid politics. 
That is a good place oh, yeah. to be. Oh. Yeah. By all means. And churches. <laughs> Word, are you awake at the break of dawn as well? <laughs> And no, I just heard politics, and I was like, no, it's churches. It's like a <laughs> reflex. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I've uh, got enough of uh, corrupt politicians back at home, believe you me. Get the fish away from me. Don't be a stranger. Write to us, okay? Uh, how do I find you? Ah, um, good point. <laughs> Ascending stones, man. <laughs> We, yeah, Follow your we, heart. we don't really have a sending stone anymore, do we? Um, ah, he snaps his fingers. Sending stones. I do know a little bit of magic. I can perhaps craft new ones similar to the ones I crafted in uh, yes. in Nuba Sky, but better ones. Uh, ones that will go across uh, oh. uh, across uh, the, the provinces. Ones on 5G, not just Wi-Fi. <laughs> that would be very cool. I know it would be very useful for us to be able to... Keep in contact in case we have to uh, keep our lies straight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will try to see if this Eduardo fellow can maybe ship them off for me to Trevisetta. I'm sure finding the pilgrims won't be difficult. Yes. Make sure to do it under his name. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, thank you again, Fritz. And uh, mm-hmm. thank the rest for me. Mm-hmm. And he- uh... mm-hmm. Only if you write the letter to Lyra. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, of course, very well. I, I, I did plan to write to all of you, so I very interesting request. <laughs> you better put a heart special on. Special one, yeah. A little, huh. little X at the end. <laughs> send a lock of your hand. He looks incredibly, yeah, he looks incredibly confused me. and uh, kind of nods. Uh, this was never covered in night training. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good pilgrimage, Fritz. Mm. And he heads Bye-bye. off back to Tigamiyara. I'm such a good wing bird. <laughs> wing bird. <laughs> the literal wing bird. All right, we are, up with we are almost great. done, I promise. Okay. <laughs> so, the day comes, morning comes, and as the rest of you notice that Edmund has left before most of you has even woken up. <gasps> oh. <Yeah>. Politics. Churches. <laughs> <laughs> Politics. <laughs> We're having the same dream. <laughs> I, the lost out. adventure. <laughs> Word, what are you doing in my dream? What do you mean? <laughs> get, out, get out of here. This is a standoff. You ain't making it out of here alive. And <laughs> <laughs> we both just wake up screaming. <laughs> Completely different movie. Quick draw. Happening. <laughs> <laughs> but one of you is in like the I Kurosawa movie that. version and one of you is in the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> mm. uh, spaghetti Weston. Okay. Good morning. I am just going to speed this up just a little bit um, just yeah. to make safe on time. And you guys do your morning routine, pack up, and head the rest of the way to Trevisetta, only a few hours out. As you get closer and closer, you actually see that there's little bits of civilization outside of the main walls of the province, as there are what look to be slums on the outside of the city, some run-down housing kind of shoddily put together, and a mm. few very downtrodden pedestrians coming up to your cart as they realize the pilgrims of Sachi are here. But before they have a chance to come and, you know, admire you, and some of them seem to be begging a few things, it's inaudible over the cacophony of, of crowds kind of shouting and, and begging. There are a few Trevisetan guards coming up and kind of pushing them back, shoving them and just like shouting, Oi, oi, make room for the... Make room for the pilgrims. Go, go. Get out of here. Go on, get. And a path is made for you as the main gates are drawn open and you are brought in to the great and terrible city of Trevisetta. Yeah. I did want to add as a note, Joe, it's really cool that the only three settlements that you drew just the thumbnails that have walls are near the border of that other country. Yeah, yeah. thanks. I, uh, yeah, uh, placed because of uh, uh, in- incarnate, but uh, yes, exactly. Yes, yeah. thank you. 
I thank you for appreciating that touch, but yes. Ooh, it's a factory town. That's always a good sign in a fantasy setting. Here <laughs> in Trevisetta. I hope there's no class issues. The province <laughs> that borders that we haven't seen. old Deosia. And that is going Ooh, to be where we call the session today. Yeah, nice. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. We're so back. Mm -hmm. Time to start slaughtering the higher ups. <laughs> <laughs> I, the funny thing is, I feel like up until now, it's like, oh, Word wants to do a heist. And now it's like, Word can't possibly run this city worse than its current <laughs> setup. Yeah. <laughs> just it's immediately. It's just lagging for a new leadership. <laughs> probably fix something. Just turn it loose. <laughs> yeah.